Let's continue. Do you think I can just ascend next to this guy? And like sneak attack him? It's probably too high up. I feel like this is taller now. I don't think this rock was this tall in Breath of the Wild. At least I finally have um, <clears throat> Sturdy wouldn't stick with high durability. At least I finally have a reason to get rid of my weapons. No! That is not what I wanted to make. Also, there was an explosion above me at this very second. I hope I survive. I survived. I did not survive. <laughs> Was watching old Wind Waker speedrun Watts and the co-host. The run sounded exactly like you. That probably wasn't me though. <clears throat> Maybe it was um Lepilog. I know there's a couple uh, Zelda people that sound German too. How does bullet time work? Uh you just use it. Uh, sorry, you just like press uh, the bow button when you are mid-air. Like you jump, <laughs> press the bow button, you're in bullet time. Okay, let's try to be sneaky. I promise that this Moblin definitely saw, saw me, didn't he? Oh, maybe not. <clears throat> yeah, you can definitely do double hits. That was... I kind of wanted to try this. This does not work as well as I wanted it to. <clears throat> Still trying to learn that stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah understandable. What if I... Do I have a bomb? Oh, dude, I have so many materials here. I don't even know if I have another bomb flower. I do. <laughs> How much damage do these, these explosions do? <clears throat> Jesus. I guess my armor is shit, actually. I still have level 1 uh, armor. <clears throat> Yeah, the AOE is also massive. It seems twice as large, yeah, really, for real. Is this the storm that we always saw in Farron? It looks like it, it looks scary. Oh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> this still works. This is what I wanted to actually do. <clears throat> I 
I have not been to Rita Village, no. Not yet. Alright, I'm gonna try. Do I have this? Yeah. No. What? Why does that not work for bullet time? What did it even just fuse? I wanna try one of those. Okay, that's just a massive water explosion. I'm kind of confused. I guess recall is only working on that one... Um, what should I call it? Object. That is very powerful. Wow. <clears throat> Ooh, I remember this music from the previews. It's great. I was just I was exploring around <clears throat> Hyrule Field and I also ate some food. <laughs> What do I even have? Not much AoE stuff that I have left. I guess I have these too. I feel like I should not be here with four hearts. Let's get the tower first. I ended up just dropping down to the star from the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get the map for this one. First! Jesus. <clears throat> What's up, William? Here we go again. Dude, that music is so good. Farosh. They <laughs> How did they do it? They improved on the on the old tower music. Okay, we got map all the way into Mount Satori. And these are the islands from the preview. Okay. <clears throat> so this is it. These are the islands of the puzzles. And I think this is also the area where you can start getting rockets. So let's mess around here for a second. That's the Sunderlion, right? Yeah. Soaked in sunlight, it petals. Its petals can restore health depleted by gloom. It's like we were invited to the preview, basically. Oh, there's a golden apple. A rare, very sweet fruit that seems to have an extra sparkle to it. Sometimes found near normal apples. <clears throat> Another one. We take those. Wait. No, that's it. Man, <clears throat> there's so much to do. Which is great. Where was this tower? Over here. I think that's where you can uh, build stuff. To maybe reach the other islands.
Also, is there anything in the water here? Can't see anything. Right, okay. So this is, I think, where I saw people attach rockets to this island. My only problem is, I was going to say I don't have rockets. That problem just solved itself. <laughs> charge more thunder lions i'm still kind of confused what these towers are for if anything other than looking mysterious So many of those cousins in that area. Where where did these ducks come from? They just appeared. All right, we'll ride the island. That's pretty cool. It just keeps going. What was that? Oh. That's the construct shooting rocket arrows. <clears throat> I'll take its bow. Would there be a chest up here? I think so, that's probably why it's red. No, it's not. What? <laughs> Where was I going? <clears throat> Ascend them, the supply potential to be broken. Let's get the Korok. Yeah, you can tell, like, literally all of the sound effects are different. By the way, what is it about apples? There's golden apples. Apples can spawn in these pots. I wonder if there's anything to those. To it. Okay, I also know there's an island below me, but maybe I'll try to get to the shrine on the preview island first. Because I don't have the travel medallion yet. I don't know where you get that. So maybe I'll try to get a war point first before I mess around too much. Will they nerf it in the patch? Wait, what? The, uh... Nerf what? Yeah, yeah, it's like stereo and uh, the, the engine is great. The, the sound engine. What's up, whale? That is not what I wanted to grab. Um. Is it gonna be fine? Ah, it's gonna be fine. Okay, yeah, rockets are definitely the best part so far. <laughs> Dude, this is so sick. Okay, so I'm back here. I'm gonna say back again, I'm thinking of the preview. But in the preview, these people had a control unit to be able to control these gliders. I don't have that yet. Endura mushrooms are back, a rare yellowish orange mushroom. Cook it before eating to temporarily increase your stamina limit. There's a fairy. Sounds useful, uh, in case I try and bump myself again. I do love the game already, indeed.
Is VR in this game? Mm, no. At least not here. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> This is how you ride, right? Okay, that does not work. Okay, so I, I know there's technically a solution where you just do this. Wait, is there even anything in here? No, there's not. Oh, there is. Yeah, everything feels quite different indeed. How high... Can I put this? Oh, wait. I have no idea if this is gonna work. But that would be sick. That's pretty sick. <clears throat> yep. The magic rods. Okay, now we can make a real water stuff. I can get rid of my old one. Because this one, the magic rod, a tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Um, didn't I have more opal or did I shoot them all away? No, there's one. Fuse is down and ascend is up. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Now the real water stuff. Damn. That is quite cool. The sinkholes. And the sandstorm in Gerudo. We should probably head there soon. Yeah, all the time still pressing up to switch ruins. And I still, I'm, with this printing, I'm kind of getting used to not trying anymore right now, but... Yeah, there it is again. <laughs> I mean, in, th in this case, it essentially works like stasis. For a bit. Sages will. So are they for like outdoor shrine puzzles? A small stone believed to have belonged to a sage. Holding it in hand, you can feel the remnants of a strong bond. Thank you, wizard, for the prime, by the way. Oh, that's a level two construct, right? No! It was. It used to be one. That's probably something I should uh, consider. <laughs> I'll take that mushroom. Those uh, are traditionally quite good. Yeah, these Sky Islands are much better with the FPS. I think the Great Sky Island is um, like a problem zone. Oh, 
All right, we gotta make it over there. Which, as long as I am, just stay on the glider. I don't think I need the control units. Just get good. Let's grab this one. Um. Oh, okay, I guess we gotta hit this one. Surely he's not gonna hit me. Surely he's not gonna hit me. I need to use the quick menu more. Wait, I don't even know if you can use the quick menu- Oh my god. To uh, recharge batteries. Okay, you already know that I have to try this. I really do. So I need to save. This is something I talked about before I even played the game. Oh! Okay, I don't know if that sent me any further. I don't think it did. I think you get sent that distance anyway. I want to try one more time, though. What? Okay, yeah. I, I, I think I may have not been ragdolled anymore. The timing is kind of weird. Also, it's kind of weird to get into ragdoll intentionally now. For any glitch yet? Kind of, actually. Okay. I need to adjust my timing there. <sighs> it's so easy. Can you use the armor shard shield to ragdoll? Oh, smart. Yeah, I think it's just the same distance. Also, there's a shrine that you can see from all the way up here. That was a different type of ragdoll, but whatever. Why do you need to ragdoll? Um... Oh, this looks so cool. In uh, Breath of the Wild, when you used to interact with these, like, piston-type things, when ragdolling, you would get sent extra far. Yeah, that- you, Link just, like- Okay, like a straight-up half moon. Uh, Link just, like, kind of, like, sits down with this one. Ah, uh, it's so weird. The menus are so- I'm not used to them. Okay, that did not work as well. Yeah, let's let's hold the, sh the shrine first. Or at least get the teleport. <clears throat> Genodoc. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. Do so and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. So I wonder if this is just going to be a blessing shrine. Maybe this is going to be our first blessing if we solve this puzzle or if it's going to be like a double puzzle. Because this is essentially like the shrine orbs, right? Where the shrines are still underground in uh, Breath of the Wild. Okay, I mean, this will work just fine. <clears throat> That's it. Crystal. Uh, 
Can you show me the map? I want to know where this is. Um, this is kind of like above the Great Plateau on a sky island. I got there using the uh, field sky view, Hyrule Field Sky View Tower. Wow, it's not very steady, is it now? Uh, wait, so what do I do now? I can't ultra hand from here. I guess I should have thought that through, huh? I moved it too far away. I think I should be fine. Just gliding over. Just gotta be careful with stamina. Okay, so when you ZL jump, you don't dive automatically, which might be useful. You can ascend there? I still do want to get that chest, even though I already know what's in there. Again, from the preview. This entire area was in the previews. <clears throat> um, I think there's like a map in there. There's so many ways you can do this, though. Like, there's, er there's ways to ascend through it, there's ways to recall it, ways to turn it. Alright. <clears throat> I could've probably even ultra-handed the crystal. That would have probably been faster. Um, you who offers the crystal, I will grant you light that banishes evil. Okay. So this is just going to be a blessing shrine or what? It was quite a challenge to even get here, so that would actually make sense, I guess. But I'm down for a puzzle. <clears throat> Boom. That is so cool. Also, you can skip the animation, which is great for all shrine spirits in the future. I've not gotten a blessing. No, not even sure if they're in the game. Um. Oh, does this look different? I think this looks different, right? Or am I just hallucinating? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I thought it did because of the, the dragon ring there, but I think it's the same. Um... Doesn't look like a... It's it's great that you can skip that cutscene now for all shrine speedruns. It's, it's a little... Um, dude, all shrines is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. I still, I still don't know how many there are, obviously. Please don't tell me. Oh, shit. This looks different. Is that, it, it could be a blessing. It is. Oh my god. Raru's blessing. Shinodok Shrine. So the blessings are all from Raru. That makes sense. That looks so sick. The blessings look insane, yeah. And the music. The Shrine music is my favorite music by far in the game. Uh, so far. God, dude. I think it's going to take me a couple of days to realize that we're all playing this game right now. What? Uh, the most precious ore one can find. Its signature sparkle has charmed Hyruleans for generations. As such, it is sold for a very high price since ancient times. Okay, are you okay with me safe scumming to, do, to shoot one diamond arrow? Because I always wanted to know what they're like. I will use it for my spear probably afterwards. I'm down for a diamond spear. Maybe I'll save it until I get a better base spear. 
It's your game? Yeah, I know, I know. But like, I really want to know what they look like. Dude, the blessings look so sick. I can't. I did not expect to get a diamond, though. I'll take it. No, I want to mess around with the spears a bit more. Because I, I, do, I do enjoy the idea that you can make really high base power spears now, which might make them pretty strong. Can you please send me what resolution at FPS is in OBS? Just, I, I stream in 60 FPS, but it doesn't matter because I play this game. And I stream in full HD. How much damage does that Zonai Spike thing do? Uh, 10, the one that I got earlier. But that's from a level 1 Flux construct. I'm assuming there's also going to be higher level Flux, flux, flux constructs. I cannot believe how sick the blessing looks. <clears throat> no, I didn't go in any of the cousins yet. What was this one called? Gino Dog Shrine. It's pretty useful. Okay, I should get this map. Okay. I will save Scum here. <clears throat> I want to see it. My theory before was that a diamond arrow is essentially an AoE ancient arrow. That's what I thought. Like, it's going to be like a super bright flashbang that essentially purges all evil. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. <clears throat> Wait, how much power? Wait, do they like encourage you to not? No, it is definitely high. Oh, it would be 25. But that's much worse than Ruby. Okay, I will definitely use it on a spear then. Try hitting something with it. Oh, not a bad shot. Maybe you can't. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Is there any constructs here? I think there was one over there. The, yeah, 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 this one. Would you say the beginning of Tears of the Kingdom is better than the beginning of Breath of the Wild? Yes, but it might be rec recency biased. But it was mind blowing. But again, I'm kind of a fanboy. Where's my diamond? Why is it like that? Okay, I don't know if it did anything. I think it just killed it. But maybe it didn't work because it's not an evil enemy. But instead it's just... It was sorted by most use. I see. I messed up the sorting. Because it was just a construct? I don't know. It looked like an ancient shot, but I think it just killed it? I don't know. In the future, I'm not gonna quote unquote waste my diamonds for that anyway. I want to put it on. I want like a better base spear to attach it on. Yeah, it just looked like damage to me too. Okay, let's actually pull. We'll do some gunshot pulls. Because I want some rockets. I have so many of those uh, light flowers. All right, rage. As many rockets as possible. Yeah, hopefully, a five-star rocket. I see one. Light? I've never seen this. A zona. Oh no, it was on the car. A zona device that can bring some light to dark places. It shines in one direction, and its light. 
doesn't reach too far, but it can come in handy on dark roads and caves. A Zonai device for a timed explosion. Its blast can activate other Zonai devices. What? There's another bomb. There's a remote bomb. Wind bomb? And I guess I like activate it. I tried it. I tried it. Maybe, maybe you could do make that work. Somehow. Not something I'm gonna be wasting my time on right now, but uh, did not know that's in the game. There's the rocket. There's the small wheel. We used it already. And another light. I kind of want to make a light stick right now, just because I can. Just because I'm playing um, Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> there it is. I have a light stick for my favorite K-pop. I mean, H-pop band now. <laughs> Those things go crazy. Oh man, okay, I do want to go over there. Do you think I can make it with the glider? No way, right? Maybe, actually. I could definitely put a stone glider in here otherwise and try to fly there that way. But I kind of want to try with the glider. I mean, I have nothing to lose now. I have the, uh, the shrine up here. So I can port back. I've used one amiibo, yeah, um, for the paraglider material change, but I don't know where to change it yet. I'm assuming it's in Hateno because apparently that's the city of fashion now or something. No, I, uh, I think I'll make that. So what is this? It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. So this is what I talked about in um, the lookouts. What's it called? Lookout town? Lookout landing? Somebody is studying the text there, but we need to go to Kakariko to be able to learn it. Maybe I should go there first. Where should I go? Kakariko? Rito? I have enough shrines now to get another upgrade. So I could port to Lookout Landing. And then go towards Rito Village. I do kind of want to go there first. Take a photo? I don't even have a camera. Unless you mean like literal screenshot. <clears throat> go to a cousin. I'll see. I think I go to Rito Village first. It's my playthrough after all. Okay, this is probably just not properly loaded, or it's a giant entrance to a cave in the canyon. There's another shrine. Wait, no, that, is that another shrine or is it the one I came from? No, it's another one. Dude. <laughs> No, wind bombing is not a thing as far as I know. There is so much to do. Oh my god. I want to beat one more of these dudes. I think I reach it from... That piston over there. I don't know where to go. There's so much to do. Oh, 
Oh, it's just below. So these guys uh, hurt. Wait, he has a chest on him? Thanks. Oh, an old map. Oh, I forgot to get the other old map. Oh, that's a level two one. What is going on? Yeah. I don't know if I should be fighting this man. This shit is so scary. Oh, I'm full. Yeah, I don't even know how to dodge them. Can I recall them? I kind of want to continue fighting them to learn their mechanics more. Also, I want to know what these old maps are. Uh, okay, so it's saved with me having the old map, right? Yeah, I have one of them. I still have a sleepover ticket. So what, like, runes can I use them? Can I recall them? I can. What? Why did it, did that not work? Or did it literally recall from before I died? Wait, it, it just doesn't work on him. Or what? I'm so confused. There's perfect dodge there. I don't know if it works on these guys. Because I keep trying it, but the they slam down in like an AoE. And um, you can't dodge that. You can if you're far enough away. But it goes in like it goes like up. I ascended through the first one in like the second phase when I become like a platform. Shield parry? I can try shield parry. But I do also want to try if you can already ascend through them like this. Um. Dude, imagine the combat montages against these dudes. Because that's gonna be nuts. It's a cube! A limb cube! Ah! Dude, what are these attacks? Ah! <laughs> what the fuck is this enemy? It rolls! No, Rico, because it's an enemy, it lets you kind of use it because you can actually use them when he's in pieces. I see, I see. Dude, the combat, the combat montage players are gonna pop off with this thing. Like, the way... Okay. Maybe Ascent is not a great idea. Wait, this is Fuse! I keep confusing Fuse and Ascent. Okay, he can stomp. This guy has a lot of attacks. Stomp, cube, smash... Okay, that doesn't work, but maybe it does. Otherwise, the AoE is too big. <clears throat> it's good I have a fairy, so I can like... Oh, I think I just didn't switch. I can learn the mechanics more. I, I want him to do slam again. I want to see if I can just run through. Okay, that's the slam from the trailer. Jesus. I'm literally on the queue. Ah! What the hell? Okay. I'm a little, uh, squishy. 
I, I think they removed the one-shot protection thing. Unless that guy does, like, way too much damage. Yo, what's up, Sleepy? What does backseating mean? Like, use this weapon. Do this. It's like, when you are not watching the stream, but you're trying to, to play it through me. By, like, telling me what to do. But I feel like if you're doing that, you should just play the game. Okay, that did work with the right timing. The music. Yeah, double and sister in the game. Okay, so it's gonna be rolling. That is a big explosion. And it's gonna be rolling faster. And then how am I supposed to... Oh! Is this what I'm supposed to do? I didn't even think of this. That's not good enough. Not good enough to break the face. Uh oh. I'm so, <laughs> so used to whistle sprinting. Nothing is useful. Did you just push me? No, right? No! It's so weird to ascend through him. Where is he going? Oh god. What is going on? What is going on? Does anyone know what is going on right now? Because I sure don't. <laughs> this music is so sick. Is he just gonna slow? No, but they respawn. Maybe I have to grab the platform? I can't get it higher. Um, that's not good. Oh, nah, there's no way you have to do that, right? What? 
I mean, I don't know if that works, but I feel like it could. That seems very ambitious, though. But I feel like maybe. No shot. That is such a sick fight. What the hell? That is insane. Flux construct level two core. <laughs> Plus 20 damage. Okay. And a bunch of charges. <clears throat> Dude, that was only level two. I wonder if there's level three. Okay, I'm gonna head um... The Great Plateau is right there. The Temple of Time. Okay, we gotta go to the Temple of Time. I'm sorry. I get I keep getting sidetracked, but that's too interesting. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. Also the Shrine of Resurrection. Um Yeah, okay. It's literally a meat grinder, yeah. I think I love this game. I think I love this game. There's a blue pea. Where I used to be. You know, that's the big cutscene. Are they also gonna drop the gems? The bubble gems? What? Oh my god! I'm sorry, but thank you for the money. The Shrine of Resurrection. Why does it look like... I mean, I guess it's just how the caves look. Like... But it is changed. We got a frog. <clears throat> Boom. Another bubble gem. Got six. Is there gonna be a Korok here? What happens here? Like that... <laughs> what? That's the y the Yiga clan. Lim, don't do this. Wait, what? <laughs> Why? That's scary. Wait, you regret going here? I mean, I don't know. As long as it's not like... Nah, I feel like I should just go... Wherever I get taken. <clears throat> uh, it's fine, it's fine. What's the worst that can happen? We can always reload, you know? What, what what happens if I take this banana? I 
Didn't have a banana, true. Um. <laughs> the nobles, the noble swordsmen scrounging for scraps. You fell for the oldest trick of the book. You stumbled into the, our secret storehouse for treasures from the depths. And now you've seen it. Huh? I can't let you live. You're alive and today that was like the Koga sound. But that's just a normal dude, no? <clears throat> just a normal guy. An eight-fold blade. Mighty banana. Um Okay. So was this always here? When wielded by a proficient fighter, it cleaves the wind and creates a vacuum. Wait, should I make a... I kind of want to make a diamond wind razor. Wait, that's kind of cool. That sounds kind of cool, like, aesthetically, but I might regret it. Huh? Save Scummit? Yeah, I'm kind of down. I should probably save you anyway. I just want to see what it looks like, aesthetically. Because the idea of it sounds cool. I mean, it's just a diamond sword. It still shoots wind. And it does 33 damage. It is kind of cool, but I think I would prefer it on a spear. Uh, okay, it actually looks really sick. But yeah, I think I would prefer it on a spear. I'd probably find more diamonds, but yeah. So what's going on there? Why is there a hand symbol? And why is the Giga clan here? <clears throat> Authorizer verified. Thank you for driving away the intruders. Those interlopers carried me here with them from the depths. I have no way of returning to where I was stationed there. I will therefore continue my work here. My task in the depths was to manage schema stones. A great deal of zonite was mined and processed there once. I have something for you, but I do not think you're ready to receive it. Please visit the great abandoned central mine in the depths and re return here after. Great abandoned... Bendin Central Mine. It's not whatever is under Hyrule Field. <clears throat> so I guess whatever this is, I can't even do it? Yet? <laughs> well, I know where to go after I've been there. What even happens here? Like, how did all of the... The technology is just gone. I guess the gloom consumed all technology. Nobody has even talked about the Guardians. Why does nobody even say that? Is this an alternative line, timeline? I'm still not even sure. I know, like, nothing about the story, by the way. I've basically just been playing. Oh, the cutscene. It's like a remake. No, I have to start, like, here. Ah, you get the, you get the idea. This doesn't feel the same without the old man. There used to be an X here once. I know this place so well. <laughs> Dude, this actually feels so strange. 
Because this is like exactly where I would run at all shrines. There would be Bukovans here. Even the, the Bokos are gone. The mushrooms are still there. The chilies are still there. Those are the any percent chilies. Oh, well, the ones that you can get. We would shield Sophia, you know, just like in the good old days. Temple of Time Ruins. I, I think I saw the statue still in there. Okay, we still have the Temple of Time music. Is it destroyed more? I can't really tell. <clears throat> oh my god. This really brings back memories, does it? Doesn't it? If, the, if there's five arrows in there, I'm freaking out. I hate this game. Okay, you definitely cannot do it. <laughs> yeah, you definitely cannot do it. Link just unequips the bow. They knew. Yeah, specifically here not being able to do this because it does really feel like you're just here. In Breath of the Wild, but you're not. No, you can't even smuggle your bow. What? I am trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau? Why is that so scary? Wait, what just happened? Why is it so dark, dude? This is scary. Yeah, for some reason the Grey Plateau feels like a late game area now. Which would make sense if, if this is like where Breath of the Wild began, if this is where it ended, but... Okay, now this guy said there's a mushroom. This guy is a mushroom. Oh, but is this a black boko? Wait, I don't know if I should be here. Yeah, I don't think I should. These are definitely... <laughs> wait. This does seem like a late game area. No. At least later game, there's just like... She's trapped under the water? So am I supposed to get there? I think I saw a Korok there. No such thing as late game, we're playing Zelda. That is true, but I mean specifically in the case of the Shrine of Resurrection, I was, they told me I was meant to... Okay, well you can stop chasing me now. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a black Boko. He has the strong horn. Oh! I guess we have this guy to find his friends. Wait, all the way over there? Yeah. Really? <sighs> I feel like I should do it, but at the same time I can't be bothered. But I guess I'll carry him there. You know, we don't know how good Korok seeds are in this game. Maybe they actually give you a good reward. This time around. Who's this? Is that the guy from the Kamu Rock Shrine? The doctor? No, no. Grilled bananas here? Nah, 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 nah. 
Absolutely not. That is suspicious. So... Okay, I'm trying to piece this together. The Yiga clan being stationed on the Great Plateau now. Who was part of the Sheikah after they... And they were kind of like Ganondorf fans. Also, what is this? What? That's not a Korok, isn't it? Okay, uh, one after another. Also, people told me the arms of these guys are supposedly useful. didn't drop any arms, so there's one. We make an arm katana. 20 damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Mr. Korok. Oh my god! He was rolling. Yeah, that's a lot of fuse power. Wait, where am I bringing him again? Okay, I need to understand what's going on here. Why has everything changed so much? Is this just because of the upheaval? Why is there Yiga on the Great Plateau? Why did Zelda sound evil? I have so many questions. Okay, I wait, what is that? How do I activate that? It looks like a grappling hook thing. But it also looks like a Korog. And the goddess said she said trapped under the water. I'm literally, I can't believe I'm doing this for two Korog seeds. Surely this is gonna be the best Korog reward of all time. <clears throat> It does seem like, I, I guess, I mean, I'm not really seeking them out. I don't know if there's how many there's gonna be. These ones definitely stand out. But love. Okay, okay, we go to the grilled banana salesperson, which surely is not gonna be. Um, a Yiga. Also, what do I do here? Do I have to like ascend through it? Probably not, right? Oh! Okay. Yes, you do. Wait. Was that right? Is there another way to do that? Have I been to... T I've been like nowhere. No oh my god, not these guys. I've literally been in central Hyrule and now... And a little bit in the sky and now I made it here. I wanted to go to Rito Village, but I keep getting sidetracked. So what's the deal with these? Do you have to attach a lock on them? That's kind of what it looked like, but that would be weird. Oh, because you unplug it. I saw that the wood, the lock was like cut, uh, 
like there was like a cut in it. That's why I even tried it, but that makes sense. <clears throat> All right, I'm down for some bread bananas since you're surely not from the Yiga clan. Ah. Step right up, come um, and chill. Hot bananas, fresh off the grill. Hold them in your hands, feel that heat. Take a big bite. What a treat. And the flavor like a dream. A little taste of heaven, if you know what I mean. Okay, grill one up. Ah. 129 for roasted mighty bananas? No. Mm. Ah. Of course. I wonder, I guess that's like the same... Like the banana sales person in the previous game. <clears throat> I have no idea how I hit that shot. What the hell? I take it though. That was like the craziest flick shot of all time. Yeah, I don't know if there's another one with the regular bananas. Those they did exist in Breath of the Wilds. They were quite useful. Wait, so all of the all of the red bokos from the Grappler Tour are black bokos now, which are like for now probably the most powerful ones. I guess they can still scale up, so yeah, this seems like a scary area. And given what we've seen from the Grappler Tour from trailers, this is definitely an important location. But Trapped behind the stone gate under the water, which is like here, right? But I can't go underwater unless I can or I have to jump in there. I don't know if I should jump in there, but uh... Because the goddess statue was saying they're trapped under the water, but the only way I could get under the water is either being able to go underwater Which as far as I know now what is that? Oh, that's the drawing. There's Farosh. Should I just try it? This is really scary. Jesus. Great Plateau North Chasm. This is... very deep. Whatever. What the hell is this? What is going on? What was that music? The depths. The locations marked on the old maps you've discovered up till now have been copied to your map. There's a bunch of gloom. Thankfully, I have a bunch of bright bloom seeds. What the fuck? Those are the spirits. Oh, those are just the posts. A glowing spirit orb found all over the depths. Offer these to the bargainer statue for a variety of rewards at the lookout. So, wait, so is Zonai Tech underground? So this is like the, the underground. There's like big wheels. I don't even know what that is up there. Like a new plate. Stone glider. <laughs> this is insane. Hello? This music is so scary, it's like... Wow. Whoa. This is huge! Wait, look! What the fuck? Yeah. This is like Elden Ring all over again. Oh shit. Okay, 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 okay. We were right. 
Gloom depletes your health. A gloom skeleton enemy. They drop zonite. Okay, I'm glad that we have a bunch of bright bloom seeds, but we probably don't even have enough. That's where we gotta go. Jesus Christ. I literally don't know what to say. Can I send up there? Probably, right? I was not ready for that, like, gloom tunnel that we jumped down. What the fuck? I'm still on four hearts as well, which, I mean, I, we know this game, it doesn't really matter. Do you think the goddess is down here? I mean... Wait, wait, is that what that meant? Was it like a hint to where Z Zelda is? No. Why did that goddess statue have that unique dialogue? Oh, our first puff shroom. A mushroom that spreads a cloud of fine spores when a stimulus is applied. <clears throat> the bitter powder makes them inedible. There's so many pose. Yeah, I, do, I have no idea what this is in, but there's a Lazalfos. Oh, this literally looks like the monster came from the trailer. But it might just be similar. But there were Lazalfos on there and uh, Gloom. There's Gloom Moblins. Ah, wait, what? Did I, get, did I touch the roots? The roots are infected with Gloom. I was trying to hit the bomb barrel. Can you please step aside? Thanks. What even was that horn? <clears throat> okay, they're still throwing each other. Yo, the combat music has changed here as well. It's like more gloomy. There's like some extra sounds basically in the theme. And they all drop Zonite. How's the underground related to the... The sky? So these are the Zonite ores. I'm assuming. Because the constructs knew about the depths. The ones on the islands. I need, uh, wait, no, I needed 100 energy, like, cores. I don't know how much zone I do. Oh, hi there. What the fuck? Now this time it's actually a person. A traveler sword with a star. It's an it's a non-broken one. A very common sword often kept by travelers. To fend of small beasts. Is it from a different time? Is that what that means? It's an uncorrupted sword. A spirit was handing it to me.
Those are not fairies. There's something else. A deep firefly. They're essentially like flying like lotus bud flowers. A multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It excretes luminescent elements. It can be cooked into an elixir which will add a faint glow. So you can make yourself glow. That's nice. You have like a, you have like a running flashlight. Yeah. I cannot believe this is real. What the heck? Like... This is literally exactly what everyone wanted. <clears throat> That's the muddle butt. A wild flower with a powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. Still don't exactly know what we'll use the pose for. The bomb flowers are really powerful, by the way, from my experience so far. As long as you are careful to not hit yourself. So... I saw this... This is so crazy. I saw this light earlier, because I don't know if you can get a map for this place. Scary. Cloying spirit orb found all over the depths. Whose spirits are they? Is the pose what I'd use to upgrade the... The pet? No, I don't know. I don't want to try out the spear, but... <laughs> this is where the flux uh, construct comes into play. <clears throat> Throwing spear. Three damage. Eh. Kind of running out of bows, so I should be careful. Salfo's tail, six fuse power, not bad. <clears throat> the Salfo's horn, eight fuse power. Not bad at all. And a 14 damage bow, I'll take that too. Well, that deep sound here is crazy. <clears throat> Another one, I'll take that too. How do you cancel the two and animation? You just jump. Why do you cancel? Because it's faster. Instead of waiting for the entire swing before moving again. Which I know I don't have to go fast in a casual playthrough, but that's like not really a skip. It's just convenient. You know? Yeah. So, uh... No. I was thinking maybe this can actually dispel the gloom. That's what I saw. That over there. There is a lot, and I mean a lot of gloom down there. What is that music? I'm scared. Help. Oh, hello. Bro, what is that? 
Why does it not end? And why does it only get bigger? Why do I not get more of an idea of where I am? And just less instead? Giant light seed? Good idea. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't get rid of it, but it is a pretty big lamp. What is that? There's like a giant castle. Is this where the, where the enemy is? From the trailer? I lost... Grove of Spirits. Central Hyrule Depths. I already lost the place I was actually exploring again. <clears throat> oh, it's up there. On that mushroom. Ouch. I just got gloomed. And I don't have a backup. So I can't eat, right? Yeah. They 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 gloom me with a rock. Okay, but bullet time is so broken because you can do stuff like that. No! Oh my god, I'm literally one heart. That is not good. I don't have any gloom resistance or any gloom healing right now. Dude, this is such a Fire Emblem vibe. I do? Wait, you don't have to cook them? Oh, I could make a cooking pot, I guess. Is that what you mean? I kind of don't want to fight these guys right now and actually uh, get whatever this is up there. Yeah, yeah I, I go up there when I'm safe. What? So too high. Yeah, maybe. I guess I need to make some food for this. Plus six gloom hearts. So th this restores the health. No, it only restores the gloom. So I can cook them in singles for now. Oh, okay, it's fine. The cooking pots are amazing addition. Um. I guess I can go from up there. If I hit the right. Okay, this ability is actually broken. For exploration. Yeah, Zona devices seem very powerful. Okay, this is just a large Poe, which gives five. A glowing spirit orb. They seem to possess great... I don't know if you could hear this. This was the loudest engine I've heard in my life. Wait, are these bright blooms from me? I think so. I don't know if they ever, like, stop glowing. Yeah, I, do, I use broken loosely. I just like using the words. It's just really good. What just... What? 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 what it's a gloom tree! Oh. 
Yeah. I'm out of here. <clears throat> There's a whole ass camp down here. I want to go to this. Whatever this castle thing is. <laughs> it's so dark, you can't even see those trees right in front of you. Remember when I said I'm going to reach a village? Yeah, me neither. Do I even know where, I'm at, where I enter from? Yeah, not really. That's it. The great abandoned central mine. The place that that construct in the Shrine of Resurrection told me about. Dude, how sick is this? I'm afraid that this is the spot where the big construct is from the trail. Uh... What is he doing down here? These are the people from the Zonai research team, right? Oh, did he pass the interview too? He obviously did. Why else would he come strolling into a place like this? <sighs> Why am I even bringing that up? Oh. Uh, just forget it, it's not important. What is important is the text we're investigating. It's fascinating. Ancient, uh, it claims that the stone statue should be able to grant us ancient power. That's right. This particular stone statue is nothing less than one of the fabled constructs. In fact, I have some writing here that explains the so-called ancient power in detail. It reads, this ability... Wait. Will allow you to commit any structure you created to memory. Did I just find auto-build? That would be the most useful thing of all time. Any object committed to memory can be instantly reproduced. Just think of it, we could instantly recreate anything we'd ever made. The, yeah, I mean, the survey team uh, investigation of this land? Wait, what? Are they fake? They're fake. The text further claims that this construct should be able to grant us that power. Oh, we just have to wake it up. It looks like we're about to fight them for it. Oh, I didn't think we'd see anyone else down here. Though I imagine you could say the same to us, huh? Uh, you're here to investigate too, right? You know, since you took the, uh, I mean, the survey team interview. Dude, what is going on? How sus are you? Because we definitely took that interview too. That's why we're here. Yep. <laughs> Oh, uh, take a look at this. Our latest discovery nearly knocked us off our feet. We found this weird device with wa wavering green letters on it and this strange statue. We think it's one of those living stone uh, constructs. Pretty sure it's supposed to move too. Well, I say that, but it's all just conjecture on my part. Aww. Truth is, we're in a bit of a panic here. If we don't figure out how this thing works soon, we're going to be in big trouble. Okay, so they're Yiga. I will go there in a second. Maybe... The construct will go here afterwards and sell stuff? I mean, it's an abandoned mine. Wait, we can put a stone glider here, I think. Can we fly through the depths? Dude, I guess we could like attach a light to a stone glider and then literally fly through the depths. How sick is that concept? Also, what is this? It's like a statue, like a Zelda statue. There's a bunch of fans and gliders, so I guess that's what we're supposed to do. And then, I guess... Okay, okay, we gotta do this. Okay, we definitely got the war point, which is huge. No matter what happens next. It's moving. Conferring also build to authorizer now. Please utilize it as you explore and deactivate and ex excavate the depths for Zonite. 
That is huge. I actually got so lucky. What the hell? In in my first playthrough of Breath of the Wild, I didn't find Rivali's scale until the very end. But finding this so early is actually massive. Instantly recreate your Ultra Hand projects using nearby items in Zonite. Autobuild rec records your previous creations. Did I see what I thought I saw? Did that thing just give you the power? We've been researching. That's incredible. Could you give us a demonstration? Let me see what the text has to say. Hold on, um... This ability will allow you to commit any structure you create to memory. Any object committed to memory can be instantly reproduced. Ah. <clears throat> I know just what to use it on. As luck would have it, both of our vehicles just broke. And we've been struggling to put them back together again. Oh. The one on the round pedestal lost a wheel. Ah. And the one on the square pedestal has fallen to pieces. But I think if you put the wheel back onto the first one, you should be able to use your power to repair the second in no time flat. <laughs> so come on, let's see it in action. Fix him up quick. You can start by repairing the one on the round pedestal. And then I save it and reproduce it. Uh, that is not correct. <laughs> um, wow, look at that. That wheel's right back on there. Snug as a bug. Now it's time for the main event. The one in pieces in the square on the square pedestal. <laughs> Use that new power of yours and fix it up. It would actually be funny. What if I do that and I give them like a broken vehicle? Yeah, honestly, things you make are sort of auto build history and can be easily recreated from there. Okay. Um, you know, I'll give you two broken cars. History one. This beautiful car. What is even going on? Build. There you go. Beautiful. It's like I'm seeing double. Build in less than no time flat too. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you, Ancient Power. The texts were right, after all. I'd say that power is incredible. Oh, Master. Ma master. <clears throat> if I look at that, the legends were true. It's him. Wait, okay, so does he remember me? <laughs> Great work, both of you. You two stranger. Okay, I need to figure out what the hell is going on. Why does no one remember me? Did the timeline get altered? Because th there's no way that even that part was not canon, right? Like, if the Master Sword is like... I don't get it. Credit where credit is. If there's one foe, I'll never forget. It's the man who cast me. Oh. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> if there's one foe, I'll never forget. It's the man who cast me from my Gerudo Desert hideout into these very depths. It was you! No, I live for vengeance. Both upon that no good Zelda and upon my sworn enemy. Wow, okay, we definitely need to go to the Yiga Hider then, because maybe that tunnel also leads to the depths now. Oh, so that's how they got here, or what? Okay, that actually makes, I guess, some sense. Now I live for vengeance, both upon that no good Zelda and upon my sworn enemy. That means you, Link. We meet again at last. And don't try to tell me you've forgotten me. We are bound by fate, you and I. Hear my name and tremble in fear. 
I don't know if I'm ready. I have four hearts. I'm the leader of the Yiga clan. The strong, the depths defying from the ashes rising. Master Koga, as goofy as ever. Still with like a giant cutscene. I saw it all. I saw the moment you obtained the ancient power we sought for so long. The highlight of, highlight of all the musty old texts we found in this land. It remembers objects you've assembled and you can instantly reproduce them. Right. A long lost ability from a distant past. So you, you, you're cheating. That is right. I have an overpowered arm. Here we are, working ourselves to the bone to build things by hand. That's what I've been doing. And you can just whip them up in an instant. That's not fair. You know, who could have used that power? The one we worship and revere. The magnificent one. If we offered it to him, he would have crushed you and Zelda both. But you just walked right up and snatched it away. I'm gonna snatch it back. He has a car. He has a car. Prepare yourself. Dude, why am I here? I have four hearts. Um... I'm not ready for this, like, at all. Okay, this does not work. Okay, I'm trying to figure out if I can just run on there. Ow. At least I have one shot protection against him, it seems. The music, though. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of like low on food, though. I guess I have apples. Good old apples. Wait, can I run him over? Oh, never mind. Okay, he just respawns it. <laughs> um. Okay, <laughs> he is still Master Koga, isn't he? Uh, I tried to whistle sprint to him. Okay, he has an upgrade now. Yeah, I don't think that upgrade is working that well, Koga. No offense. But what's next? Okay, maybe this is the one time I'll actually use a homing arrow. Seems useful here. Wait, he left. Because it's like phase three now? Oh, he has rockets! Ah! What the fuck? Where am I? Wait, why is he stunned? No! Okay, that works. Okay, homing arrow is actually useful. For this sense, at least. Please. There we go. <clears throat> Wizard Spring does not work. That's what I, I keep doing it and I keep running out of stamina. You pesky little pest. Why won't you stand still and let me squish you? Well, fine. I suppose I can let you uh, off easy for today. What is that thing? Oh, that's my weapon. I was like confused what the meat grinder is. You think you're so smart, but I've already found a whole bunch of ruins down here. Okay, is there a dragon in the back? Is that a dragon? 
I talked about a dragon underground. I see it. I saw your little trick, but is that the same one from the start? Is it Farah? Or is it... He's underground. <clears throat> I see it right on the top left. I saw a little trick there. You used your right hand to get that construct going. What? I grabbed that power you cheated me out of for myself off at the southwestern abandoned mine. Then the magnificent one and I will guide this world to its miserable end. There's nothing you can do to stop us. Okay, so he just leaves and he goes to a different mine with his <laughs> glider. Is he gonna crash? Wow. Here's a jet engine. The Thunderhelm? Master Koga of the Yiga clan. Side adventures. So I just started it. Master Koga's profile has been added. I'm so confused. Do they all come out of uh, chasms? I don't know. But that's definitely Farosh. Instead of going to sky portals, they're just going underground. I have not seen them go underground. This is the first time I'm seeing a dragon underground. I personally imagine that there would be like a shadow dragon. Huge crystallized charge. A complete crystal made by condensing zonite charges processed from zonite equal to 100. No, that's just a full battery upgrade. Right? Dragons never despawn. Thank you for repelling the trespassers. I hope you will pardon me for listening in on your conversation. That man mentioned an abandoned mine to the southwest. I suspect that he is referring to the former Gerudo mine. Southwest, that's right. Oh, so we probably have to go into the Yiga hideout hole, where he like, initially fell down. That place flourished with activity long ago like this one. Ore was constantly unearthed and refined. There are statues that point the way to the abandoned Gerudo mine. Follow them through Oh, or it's gonna be the statues with the swords. Like, um, then the sandstorm. In Breath of the Wild. I recommend by begin you begin by making your way to the light you see over there. One more thing before you set out on your journey. There is something I would like you to have. Please speak with my associate, impossible. I should also go back to the uh, Shrine of Resurrection, but people told me to not <clears throat> do that. What is in here? Also, what is even this? like gloom fire and that's like a big camp could you show us where you are on the map well uh, I I went to the sky view tower and then I went up to these islands and from the islands I went down to uh, the great plateau I did this Korok and then I jumped into this hole mainly because I just wanted to get a heart upgrade I wanted to get a heart upgrade and then the statue told me she's trapped under these waters so I jumped in here, and now I'm here. Essentially, under the Temple of Time. <clears throat> this game is ginormous. I wanted to go to Rito Village this entire time. And that's one of the four, like, major areas. And now there's an entire underground that's, like, ginormous. Are those, like, evil pose? Man, there's so much to do. So I want to go to that statue. Oh, so I can switch the map like this? I see. That actually might be useful. Like, if I have the map open on surface, then maybe by looking at what's on the surface, 
Because that statue is almost by the Temple of Time statue. It's not quite, though. Chest. <clears throat> Go to the glowing bulb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Large zonite. That's different. Zonite of especially high purity. The amount of energy concentrated in it allows for much higher power output than regular zonite. I don't know which direction to go because this looks... In I want to go to that statue. That's like basically the reason I came down here, or at least I believed I came down here. Thank you for driving out the trespassers. I will no longer need to hide in order to avoid detection. There's another reason that it's good to that it is good you have come. I see that you have the ability to audible. That means this schema stone I carries for you. Who told me about these before? That was the, the guy in the Shrine of Resurrection, right? These stone slabs depict schematics of things such as Zonai vehicles. Autobuild saves the schematic and builds it on command. Fan plane. So it's just a, it's just a basically perfectly constructed plane. You should now be able to autobuild an additional design. Please wait while I prepare the necessary... Oh, I, oh, is it just a slot that I can override? Please wait while I prepare the necessary parts for you to test the schema stone. How did you get audible? I jumped down into a chasm at the Grey Plateau um, and I found a huge building and that's where it was. Schema stones can help you to build things you have never before imagined. I hope that you find this one useful. So the, I need the materials to be there, right? So I could just place a glider, three wheels on the ground. It stays, you can set favorites though. And then, because those parts are there... Oh wait, it costs Zonite as well? Wait, does it cost Zonite to, Zonite to make? Twelve. It costs when you miss a part. Wait, how broken is that then? You don't even need the parts? Also, there's a huge store here now. Or like mine. How long have I been streaming? Like 10 hours. It's a bit expensive if you don't have the parts. Yeah, you probably want the parts. I guess I buy more of these. I might even get two battery parts by my next return. Dude, but I feel like I've seen nothing there, and it, it seems like I get all of these upgrades, but I feel like I've seen nothing. I'm grateful for you, uh, to you for driving out the trespassers. I was process processing zonite into materials. Okay, we had that same dialogue in the sky. Oh, these ones need large zonite. Wait, why do both of them need large zonite? Oh no, though, this is normal zonite. Right? I think I'll just buy as many as I can. I'm working towards the second battery upgrade. That's how I'm understanding it, right? Like if I get 100 of these, I can get one battery upgrade. I wouldn't spend normal zonite. I don't know how to change the paraglider. Yeah, you can whisper them if you know. Uh, I don't know. You want 24. We require 20, 72 pieces of zonite. Okay, I don't know. I don't know why it's supposedly bad to spend zonite. I don't really get that. But people have already played the game. <clears throat> Not sure why. I guess I already have one battery upgrade. But I guess I should also just do whatever I want. But whatever. I have one upgrade. Don't listen, just do what you want. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I feel like 
If I really need zone, I come back down here. You're right. Sixty-nine. Um. So let me attach. How does it work? L lamp. No. Like this. I still have not found a um, way to control. Oh, this costed this cost a lot. Wait, wait, wait. This that that costed so much more energy than I thought because it's three fans. I didn't even think of this. The music is so crazy. Is th if this is how you get the map, I'm popping off. <clears throat> or is this just an exit? It's a lamp? It is- this is literally what I said months ago. This is literally what I said months ago. The roots are connected to the ground. So you get basically the ember stores the- the world. Or is it not a, the map? It's a teleport waypoint. And a lamp. And also the map? It is. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. This is a light route. Underground towers. It's all of the above. Can I, I, I can ascend here as well, right? I can't. <laughs> I thought maybe you can like ascend to the surface, never mind. But it's still pretty good. Now zoom all the way out of the map. Yeah. This is the grove. This is where I entered. Then I went to the Grove of Spirits. Great abandoned central mine. And now I'm here. There's minecarts, buildings. Literally insan insanity. One hundred percent will be fun. Yeah. Going through all of this blind because you can't pick up blind bright blooms. Wait, are those the statues that that person was talking about? That's the Yiga clan. I don't know if I should be doing this now. I feel like I shouldn't be here. I feel like I should go to Rita Village like I planned. And I do have the teleport point, you know. I think I'm probably gonna head out here for now. I feel like I already... <laughs> I'm not where. I, what is down there? Is that where the golem is? What is this? Yeah, these are basically. It's a Gerudo? It looks like a Gerudo whale. Oh, wait, is it a mermaid? There's like waves. Okay, I might just be seeing things. Okay, I'm assuming this is gonna get me to the southwest's abandoned mine. Regional phenomena, that's that quest, right? No, oh no, that's uh, Gerudo Desert. Um, those are the four big main quests. Where Princess Zelda re remains a mystery, Pira said you might learn more by looking into the major phenomena. Right. 
Side Adventures. So there's Side Adventures now. Shrine Quests, Side Quests, and sh Side Adventures. Those are like big side quests. You faced... Uh, head to the Yiga clan in the great abandoned central mine. He plans to use the power of the Zonai to end the world of the Magnificent One. Could they be involved with Zelda's disappearance? Koga went to the abandoned Gerudo mine. You can go there by following... Yeah, I don't think I should be going there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, they're like exactly like the statues in... Um, Gerudo. Maybe I'll go the other way. It, it is definitely overwhelming. Like, I just wanted to go to Rito Village and I still will. But, um, yeah, is it just me who thinks it's dumb that shield surfing deals damage to your shield? Yeah, it, it used to deal a lot. Oh, wow, that's so bright. That made everything like a lot brighter. My god. But there is so much down this. Also, I kind of want to go back to the Shrine of Resurrection. Because um, we can get whatever we were supposed to get there now. We don't even know what's up with the statue in the temple. Yeah, we haven't found wherever they are trapped. But I feel like I can do something here. I wanted to go to that, that like weird tower structure as well. Um, close to the Great Sky Islands. Because I wanted to know what that is. For like a long time. Uh, could you open the map real quick? This is the map. Currently I have three layers. Not sure if there's gonna be more. At this point, I wouldn't even be surprised. I have, like, nothing. I'm basically mostly in the central part of Hyrule so far. Okay, let's go towards those uh, evil-looking poles, and then... I'll go to the Shrine of Resurrection, get my quote-unquote rewards, and then I actually got to read the villain, surely this time. I did not meet Unibon, no. Please don't tell me if he's in the game or what he looks like if he's in the game. I haven't left the central Hyrule area. This is the first time I went into the undergrounds. Yeah, I haven't unlocked space yet. Honestly, at this point, I wouldn't even be surprised. So, are they just evil? Oh, no. Grand Poe. They give 20. A glowing spirit orb. Found all over the depths. Offer these to the bargain statue. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God. This. Dude, this is... Nah, this is too much. Okay, this would have been the perfect time to try out a diamond arrow, but... <clears throat> yeah, I have like the feeling that bomb arrows are broken. Not sure if I'm the only one. One hundred is a whole battery. Oh wait, one hundred isn't a whole battery. No. I thought it was, but maybe I was uh, mistaken. <clears throat> I think there's sort of moblin around, right? Hey. 
one third. Oh, it's like yep. one little bit. That makes much more sense. I don't have a like boulder. Uh, what would you, large zonite? I'll take that. I don't have any like rock weapon. Or maybe the, the I think the moblin horn. A heart horn that resulted from a skull mutation attached to a weapon to increase in tech power. Eh. It almost looks like a rock. I will still press deep it up every time. I think. Ah, uh, probably not. Okay. I guess it makes sense because the blue moblins. That's what I should have done. I'll do that here. The blue moblins have basically a pickaxe. Don't I have those horns? Okay, now we're literally playing Minecraft. I've no I haven't gotten a horse, no. I feel like usually I would like to farm for a like five speed horse if that's still in the game. Like if different speeds of horses still in the game. Also I know from the trailer that Epona is somewhere. Not sure if that's quest related. Or if that's something that you can actually easily get. Or if it's amiibo still. I hope it's not amiibo. I mean I have the amiibo, you know. Worst case, we can bust out the good old pay to win. I know it, it's literally so smart like you know how good scaling is gonna feel in this game because once you get to the point where the enemies are stronger they will also drop stronger horns giving you stronger fuse materials I think it's genius I haven't done one of those confusion arrows yet. <clears throat> What's underneath Hyrule Castle? Have you went down there? No. I have not. Can a blood moon happen while you're underground, I wonder? That does not sound pleasant. What if you just walk into the darkness? I think darkness is fine as long as you don't walk into the red stuff. Oh, there's another weapon. Oh, there's another statue as well. Uh, th this is gonna be another restored weapon. Is that a spear? Uh, but it's only like a... I'm so confused about this area. Like, what I'm not getting is if this is... A I, I know there's not really early game and late game areas, right? But like, it seems like this is like a scary area, especially the Grey Plateau. Because again, there's like really high level enemies for this early in the game. But the weapons from these guys are like really low level. Maybe they also scale? Maybe everything just scales again. I want the Diamond Spear, but not with that base spear. That's too weak. Wait, I, just, I didn't get a headshot, even though I used the uh, eye. No, 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 don't throw your gloom rock at me. Every enemy is so much scarier because you just don't want to get hit at all. What does post stand for? They've, they've been in Zelda games for a long time. They're essentially like spirits. Somebody correct me, because my knowledge... I know, I think Post were in Twilight Princess, right? It's been a while that I played that game. Make sure you feel free to correct me. Ah! I just saw it the second I... S I saw it the second I used my attack.
What was that? They were like square bomb barrels. Of course. Well, now I know those exist. You know, learning by doing. It's like a... It's literally like the remote bomb. From uh, Breath of the Wild. Ooh, large zonite. Jesus. That's so cool looking. This no, this doesn't seem high level, but uh, on the Great Plateau itself, there were black bokos, which are the highest level enemy I've seen so far playing the game. True, we technically have a square bomb in those and a circle bomb from the Zona devices. Dude, how big is this area? Is this literally just the entire Hyrule yet again? Yeah. But just underground? This is so wild. Another statue. Or oh, like, what, a, what, what would that be? They look human. Gerudo? There's a lot of them. And they have restored weapons. I definitely, I definitely should go back to the lookout afterwards. Oh, I didn't get the map at that shrine. Okay, I need to do some marking. Um, there was a map here that I still want to get. That's for sure. <clears throat> I need to report back to these people that I found weapons that are like intact. What is that? another traveler spear i wonder if these guys respawn <clears throat> can probably get a map here somewhere as well wait this is where i came from what is the statue Is this an, a depiction of Ganon? It looks like a... Like a powerful... Wait, is it? Powerful boar? No, might be a bit... Wishful thinking. There's a new ancient civilization that lifts in the depths. I mean, my theory before was that the Sheikah were here. It, it, like, initially, because all of the shrines ki uh, like came rising from the ground. But at this point, it doesn't look that way. There's, like, these Zonai, like, lotus lamps everywhere. And the constructs are down here. And they're mining Zonite here. And have the depths and the sky always been there during Breath of the Wild, technically? that they appear? That was a very bad spo uh, spot to stop.
I mean, I feel like I want the map for whatever area I'm at right now. Um, so I quote unquote didn't explore here for no reason. Ah, um, but at the same time, I kind of want to move on. Like I know where to go here next time. I go to the southwest mine to get an upgrade. Oh wait, wait, the Shrine of Resurrection. I should mark that too. Because uh, I can get some rewards there now. I'm assuming it's going to be another schema stone for like another build. Also, I can find out what the posts are good for now. Um, so this way I got the map. This way is kind of where I came from. But how do I go back up? Because I still wanted to find the person trapped, quote unquote, trapped under the water. I really don't want to deal with these guys. It's so annoying. Oh, is that a tunnel? Oh, I thought for a second that was like a gloom tunnel. But it is not. I guess I would have to go back up there. This is also where I came from, isn't it? Maybe I can ascend over there. I don't know if it's a person underwater, but I went to the Temple of Time to upgrade my hearts, and the goddess statue there told me that she is trapped under the water, whatever that may mean. I don't know how commonly I'm going to find an ascent spot in these areas. I was able to found, find one earlier like this. Is this where I came from? No, this is a different entrance, right? Up there. That looks like another entrance. Where am I? Oh, yeah. This is how you would enter with a bomb shrine is. So if I entered from the bomb shrine, I would have been right here. Maybe that's the strat. Um, so what's the play? I could simply teleport to the shrine, get the old map, then go back to Shrine of Resurrection. And then try to find this person again. I need to make it to Rita Village though. <clears throat> okay, wait, there's another camp up there. There's literally like an infested root. Gloom infested root. I don't know, I'm definitely getting those. Those are kind of good. Wait, this is basically it. Right? Look, I'm basically where the underwater part is. This is where the statue said it would be. That's is that a t an, another tower, right? I don't have this one. Or like, what is it called? Light roots, bright roots. No gu koi light root, right? Just what I expected.
Actually, flash banged. It's a very pretty animation. I'm still live. I'm gonna be live for like another four hours, I think. <clears throat> or like three, maybe. Wait, so where's the master? So do we not have the broken one? We don't. It disappeared when we finished the tutorial area. Uh, the light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Again. Oh, would, would this also heal gloom? I'm assuming so. Wait, this is where I came from? That's the great abandoned central mine. That's the Kora Dat light route. This is this is so ginormous. Wait, is this where I fell down? So I literally went like a giant circle. I fell down here, I could have just went here. But instead I went like this. <laughs> Wait, what is this? And this, and this, and everything. Okay, um... The stone gate is basically this way. Here's so many, there's so many parts here. But I wonder if we actually have to go under the water. Oh, I haven't ever obtained one of these yet. It's like a control unit. Wait, but no, I no wait, this is where I fell down. Oh, and then I just went this way. I literally just went this way. All I had to do is go the other way. <laughs> and I would have immediately found the light route. I'm trolling. Well, I don't know if we're gonna find our statue here. Because looking at the um, overworld map, this is basically exactly where it would be. But I don't see it. I just see a bunch of these statues in another enemy camp. A very scary enemy. No, that's a Jäger camp. Are they lizards? I can't tell. No, is it, this is like a boar, right? Is this supposed to be Ganon? I have no idea how we're supposed to fi find the statue. I'm getting confused as well. That's uh, the mine. Maybe in the surface? I mean, yeah, if there's underwater, then maybe. Hello? Hello? According to Ko, this location will be destroyed. Glory Master Kska. Okay, I was supposed to see this before going to the mine. What? Help! What happened to Ganon in Breath of the Wilds? Um, I don't know yet. It's presumably he was sealed under the castle. <laughs> D 
These guys are so annoying. I don't want to deal with them. I did see a blood moon. Yeah, that's the, the biggest story uh, thing that happened so far. That really confuses me. Because Zelda sounded like evil during the blood moon. I can't believe how big this place is. I feel like I need to get out of here soon, otherwise I'll be inflicted with gloom. Wait, but I could also get another light route. <laughs> Maybe actually, there's a lot- there's two. There's a bunch of gloom. So this is gonna be like under central Hyrule essentially. Is there a camera in this game? I have not gotten it. I don't know. Ouch. What is this? What is that? Hello? It's friendly? Oh, okay. Oh, and there's some zonite as well. But it doesn't look friendly. Scourge of the Depths. He's got. What the fuck? Eat some apples, boy. I need bullet time. That is horrifying. What? Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. I'm not fighting frogs right now. Okay, I just saw he has like a zonite ore on his back, but I, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to Rito Village. This was the entire point. I know about the underground now. I'm going to Rito Village. I still have the base armor. But there's a light route right there. Surely I could sneak past. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the frogs to my advantage. He's gonna... Oh my god, I can't whistle sprint. I kinda dodged it, I guess. I'm kinda scared as well. Just please leave me be, leave me be, leave me be. I'm just going to this light route so I can return here later and we can actually fight. Okay, frogs? I'm a big frog fan. I really like frogs. Really, frogs are cute, please. Everyone loves frogs. People love the frog chair at Animal Crossing, you know. It's really not that deep. How do you throw items? You press the throw button and then the material button. This is so... This is actually horrifying. Dude, I'm scared. It's all good. I bet we, we went to the light route, you know? <clears throat> okay, frogs. Nika Yam. These names are gonna be hard to learn. It's a children's game, yeah. Definitely wouldn't freak out as a kid playing this. I have no idea how many shrines there are. But I'm kind of, uh, you know, 
um, lighting up the underground right now. At least five shrines, at least. I cannot believe they named it Frogs. <laughs> Come on. You already know Frogs is gonna be all over Twitter. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I feel like I'm pretty stacked on weapons basically the entire time I've played. See, there's one more light route. Surely there won't be another frogs in our way, and then we can basically. We're like basically um, walking back to uh, here. Look at landing, where I was probably supposed to actually enter this area for the first time. But that's merely a suggestion. <clears throat> I mean, this is like the most hype area. Of course, I go I'm gonna want to explore it. This is like completely new. Yeah, I'm, I was very happy with that because I um, we talked in my Discord about the theory that these light roots kind of look like they have ember, which would like store memories and they're basically connected to the ground. So it made a lot of sense. Ugh. A flying gloom. I don't know if they're called keys or like big keys or Moldarak yet. I've heard both names. Alright, this is the last light route for real. Oh, this is right under the shrine. Wait, is that a thing? Wait. It is. The shrines are related to the roots? Did they grow out of the ground or something? But this is not where the Magnesia Shrine would be. But they're like identical. Wait, the root name is the shrine in reverse? Is that actually true? I, I tried to see that connection, but I didn't see it right away. Yeah, I know that music was in the trailer before the dun 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 It was like during the mural. <clears throat> Oh, that's a big one. The light will dispel the darkness and brighten the surrounding area. Once again. Um, La Yu Sus. No, Susu Yai. La Yu Sus. <laughs> oh, but. Oh, it's E. Uh, it's an I. It is. Yeah, it's an I, not an L. I got confused because obviously you have the capitalization. It is. Maya... Shin. Whoa. So what is the relation? Kyoku... Kyo... But... There's no shrine here yet. Maybe there's one in the sky? No. It wouldn't be. That is interesting. I don't know, there's no way every shrine is a light route, I would think. I think there's too many shrines for that. But maybe. I guess I've only found two here. But they, I, um, 
Not sure. <clears throat> Alright, one more light route, right? Like one more, maybe? Now that we're here, you know, we can probably see it any any minute. <laughs> no, 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 okay. But what is this? Okay, I'm sorry, I have to go down there. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is that? Daphnis Canyon Mine. Is that a big Zonite ore? Can I hit it? Oh. I indeed can. That is massive. Sometimes these like voices show up the music and randomly say like a line. I'm just in the mine, you know. I can't believe that these weapons are called pounders. Come on. Please. Uh, maybe with the bomb arrow, actually. Might have been much more effective, huh? Yeah. Uh, maybe that's why there's bomb flowers down here. Where do I get bombs? Uh, it's a bomb flower that I used just now. I have not been at the ground for 11 hours. I started the game today. But this is like the most exciting place so far. What can I say? I wonder if there's shrine... Wait, okay. That's actually interesting. It would be kind of weird now if there were shrines down here. Given the connection to the roots. But I guess not impossible. Okay, I got baited there, I will say. I thought this was one of those big ores again. <clears throat> to be fair, I feel like I wasted one hour in this one shrine that really, really tricked me. I got kind of rolled in it. I can't even say what my favorite part so far was. The, the, I think my favorite part so far, other than like cutscenes and like big openers, was probably the Flux Construct fight. The, the second one, that was wild. Um, What's up, story about? Wait, which shrine was it? Which one? Wait, did I... What shrine are we talking about? <clears throat> oh, the one I struggled with. Sorry, you literally just... This one. Susuyai. Um, it was the one where you had to put like this the stake into the hammer and i didn't know that you could do that for like 30 minutes it seemed miner's top a that's it glows a shirt featuring lamps of various sizes for that is actually so useful um with bioluminescent material made to help with excavating dark environments uh ah uh, I don't know what to think about this. It's like bondage of lamps, but sure. It is kind of cool though, you know. And it's useful. Yeah, actually, I feel like if I had better like combinations, I mean, <laughs> this... Uh, I'll go with this. Oh, 
<laughs> Alright, any minute now, guys, we leave the underground for sure this time. Yep. I mean, I actually might be at the edge of it here. And we just found something. Yeah, yeah, I'm leaving now. Look, look, watch. I'm actually about to leave. I'm gonna see what these poses are good for. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, watch. I mean, to be fair, we progressed. We got the... we got also built. Oh no, but I wanted to go... Okay, okay. I will go here and we will go to Rita Village, but I do want to pick up the map on the island and whatever we can get in Shred Resurrection. What is the shirt you have on? It's the Miner's shirt or whatever that I just found. The Miner's top. It's also pretty, str uh, I guess, a little bit stronger than the archaic one. I should probably wear this. It gives five, um, I guess, three resistance. Okay. <clears throat> so this is probably the quest for going to the Cosmos where I just came from. What a fine afternoon. Oh, it's you. You're not a pure pet of use. Yours may seem perfect, but it could be even more perfect. I need to head back to the lab when Joshua's got the depths investigation sorted out. Aww. Come on, Goggles. Oh, she calls him Goggles. Are you even listening to me? Oh, oh uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? Huh. I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Oh, you guys are in luck. Look, if you're not going to listen to me... Is it oh, guys. Uh... I'm sorry. Looks like we're gonna have to investigate the chasm. There's only one way to progress. Too bad. Look, if you're not gonna listen to me, I go and jump into a chasm myself. No way, no, how? You can't do that. The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own, and we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there, too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms. But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow you young or a young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end! <laughs> but I need more on that figure. Did I see that figure? If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. What figure? <laughs> oh, Swordsman, sorry. I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Joshua, Head of Depths Research. I think yeah. we saw that figure. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. This piece of slate, specifically the image epic. This isn't this what I just got? The schema stone or whatever? Specifically the image depicted on it. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm rise up? We saw this. But I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysteri that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there. So I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I saw them. I want to see for myself. Aww. They're gonna give us a camera, right? And we're gonna have to go back. You see him later? Wait, who? Is this the same assistant he had in the first game, but she got younger, like Pura? I don't I don't think we've heard this name before. I don't remember it. No, no, no. Jaren is who you are thinking of. She's also here. Um, but she is downstairs. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Oh. Joshua, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can find anything about the figure on that slate. And Link will join me. Okay. We we'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your Pura Pets camera to take a picture of it. People wanted that so bad. Um, a perfect plan. Camera? You don't know about the camera? It's one of the Pura Pets basic features. Somebody asked and chat about this, so it is back. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image. One that's stored in your pet there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Pura Pets. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures, once we're down there anyway. 
There will be lots of monsters in the depths, though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see. I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. Ta-da! Well, I literally already have that light route, so I guess that's where you're supposed to enter. <clears throat> Wait, I wonder if there's gonna break anything. Hmm. Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all of this, swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaves before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out, at least. Nice. Ten more of those. Oh, and take this too. Five arrows. The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there, it's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. You know what, Joshua? Not to backseat you. But we already figured out that it's actually more useful to throw them. You know? Because that way you don't waste an arrow. Okay. You'll want to head straight out of Lookout Landing's south gate. You'll find the chasm goggles used... Just used outside. I don't know how to, um, much about how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look up the goggles for me. Camera work in the depths. Back we go. Hey, this is a main quest, so I guess we should. Um, and I can also go to the statue. To the statue. Is it still possible to thunderclap rush? I do not know. <clears throat> a young scientist whose genius earned her the role of heading up depths research. Joshua finds it thrilling to be working with Pura, and though she helps with various investigations into Princess Zelda's disappearance, she's glad to focus her time on the depths. Head of the Yiga clan, an organization with a grudge against Hyrule's grandiosity and charisma inspired passionately. Did we read this? Um, originally thought to have been killed in a battle with Link. He survived after falling into the depths of the world. <laughs> Burning with ambition to join the Magnificent One and guide the world to its end, he has sent his acolytes to all corners of Hyrule. Who's Raru? Um, you'll meet them at the beginning of the game. I think there was a statue down here, if I remember correctly. Yep. Um, you who have conquered the blessings, okay, okay, now we can technically do stamina, but I do hearts for now. I probably stay with five hearts for a bit until we can afford a full bar of stamina. Is it the same one from Ocarina of Time? Well, that's the question. We don't know. Haven't gotten the shrine yet. I haven't talked to this guy. I think you've caused quite a stir since your arrival here. People don't fast, don't they? If this is your first visit, talk to that soldier in the center of our little fort, or were you hoping to register a horse? We're still getting things together on that front, so I'm afraid you'll have to hold your horses a while longer. Heh. <laughs> Bigger roadside stables. Not only can you register horses, but you can also stay the night. We didn't have room to build something that fancy here, but I did want a place I could take care of horses properly. Which is why Carson from Hudson Construction is planning to build us a mini stable. <laughs> Once it's finished, you'll be able to register, board, and take out horses just like you would at any other stable. Oh. Who are you? I used to work at Rito Stable in Hebra. Had a good job taking care of horses. Was that the guy we brought curry to? I don't remember. But the cold there kept getting colder and business got slower. In time, we had to close. Last I heard, the place had been bought out by Lucky Clover Gazette. We heard about that person already. And this is also why I want to go to Rito Village. It is Lester? Okay. Just when I was feeling adrift, Pura reached out to me about managing the horses here at Lookout Landing. And before I knew it, here I was. Be sure to bundle up if you're going to Hebra. The cold over there is intense. Uh, this is not the new Terrytown. I mean, this was like a place that was constructed, but Terrytown apparently, I haven't seen it, but apparently it's still a thing. Um, it was described to me at the map downstairs there. I'll be taking some time to see the extra facilities that are available in here. Oh yeah, we read this. 
I know I shouldn't stare at the sky all day. I'm sure I saw someone fall from that huge island in the sky. Pretty sure at least that was me. The sight of that just stays with me. I should talk to the expert on Sky Islands who works with the Zona survey team. They're studying runes all over though. Uh, I'll be able to leave my post here and go find that person someday, but who knows when that will be. I do not know. It's weird, I haven't even seen a single horse, actually. Oh, wait, where was uh, the guy? Oh, there was one here. That's right. For the battery upgrades. I'll get the shrine first of all. Because then I can always walk back to the entrance. Are there horses near Great Plateau? Probably. There is coordinates, yeah. Which is probably gonna come in handy for like... Um, um, oh, there's horses. Which is probably gonna come in handy for um, guides and that sort of stuff. But the problem is, even if I do get this horse over there, I don't know where to register it. Can you still tame horses the good old-fashioned way is the question. Looks like you can. Yeah, I know in stables, but I, I didn't I don't know where the next stable is right here. Four stamina, but uh, this might be like three speed. It's actually not awful. Should I ride to um, the stable next to the Colosseum? I'm never gonna get anything done in this game, by the way. I'm realizing this more and more every day now. Where are they going? We are close now? Ah, it's... it's okay. Can you still do the stamina horse glitch? I don't know. I was never really good at it. I don't think anyone was. I'm assuming the horse will still stay here though after I do the shrine. There is so much going on. There's constantly something you can do. Geocene. There might be a light route below me. This is exactly where we're supposed to go down, so we'll figure that out soon. Wait, so the horse stamina glitch was in the game, but it was patched? Interesting. Test of strength. Shape rotation. Geocene. Uh, no, this is, is this gonna be the thing from the meme? Where it's like, where do you put this shape through? Where do you put this shape through? Yeah, that children's toy. In the square, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then I guess we use it as a bridge. Any minute now. What happened to all the old Sheikah tech and the vine beast? I'm not, I don't know yet. Um, it looks like the gloom at attacked all of the weapons. There's some weapons from the underground that I was able to get that were not destroyed though. Light root name prediction would be Nisoige or something like that. Yeah. That would make sense <laughs> if there was a light route under there. Huh. 
nothing in here. Okay, okay. Very smart. We're doing it. <clears throat> Wait, but what is this about? Oh, is there a chest in here that I didn't see and I can only reach it if I put it through? Oh, is that a shortcut? No, this is where I actually have to go. But this is probably where I get a chest. Where's that armor from? I only have the pants. I don't have the pants. The armor I got from... I think here? I don't remember what that pin was from. I think it's this. <clears throat> Mine. I thought it had a name as well. Why can I not see it? Wasn't it called like Daphne Abandoned Mine or something? I remember reading a name. Oh, is that up here? Wait, wait. No, it's here. Sorry. It's here. It's here. It's here. No, no, no. Then you got the pants from there. It's here. Daphne's Canyon Mine. I looked at the wrong spot. Oh, that's nice. That's actually the best elixir I've found yet. Sorry for the spoiler. Oh, don't worry. The, the underground, I feel like it's almost unspoilable. I think the only thing that's spoilable is that it exists. But what makes it so crazy is like how intricate it is. Like, even if you know where stuff is, you have to essentially find it again anyway. Okay, don't, don't. <laughs> Wait, but we just have to do... In the square hole. There is no way that this is how you're supposed to solve this, and I might be able to cheese it now. <clears throat> this shrine is so bad. <laughs> Wait, can you do this? <laughs> no shot. <laughs> anyway. Rotation of shapes. I mean, that wasn't really a skip though. I just like didn't line it up correctly. And again, I'm not gonna question myself if I beat the shrine the right way. The whole point is to just come up with interesting solutions. <clears throat> so far, what do you think is better, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom? Ah, that's way too early to tell. But right now, I'm obviously really excited. This game is out. I'm having a ton of fun. This just feels like Breath of the Wild's ultimate version, essentially. This is just how you should probably think of it. Okay, the more I look at this armor, the cooler it gets. The minor armor. <clears throat> Can you show us your whole inventory? Yeah, in a second. So Raru and Zelda, that's uh, what we're thinking. Okay, light roots, shrines, light blessings, korok seeds, rupees. All of them are on there. Okay, my inventory. Currently, I have these abilities. I'm still missing one. Not sure if that's also going to be related to underground or the depths, because this is what I got in the depths. Um, 
The first card seen right, right? It's really cool. I got six bubble gems, uh, 133 crystallite ch ch charges, which I could use to upgrade my um, battery, and I probably should do that soon. 22 Korok seeds. I have this paraglider material. I have no idea how to change the paraglider. Uh, where do you get auto build? It was basically the first thing I found underground, which was wild. Um, the first thing I found at the depths. <clears throat> Um, what gear is this? The gear I also found underground. We get there in a second. Um, I have a sleepover ticket. I have 191 posts, which I also should have actually. I should go back to lookout landing right now. Um, do you miss the moving glitches of Breath of the Wild? Not so far. No, so far I'm just having fun. One schema stone, which gave me a recipe. I'm assuming I can also get another one in the Shrine of Resurrection. One old map. I know where to get another one. One light blessing. A bunch of devices, random elixirs, a ton of materials. Um, weapons, my strongest weapon right now is this Flux Core 2 Pulverizer. I have a diamond that I'm going to use on the spear soon. These shields, pretty bad bows. And the only cool outfit I found so far is the Miner's Top. Yeah, speedruns will be wild. I'm gonna upgrade my battery and check out what the post can do. Unless I can't do that yet because I'm supposed to go down with the, into the underground with the Robbie. <clears throat> are there any glitches that are the same in Breath of the Wild so far? Um, you can get double hits with two hand weapons is the only thing I found, which I don't know if that's a glitch, but they're incredibly overpowered. So when you like do a spin attack and you face the back to the enemy, you hit them twice per rotation. Which is really, really strong. And what we found earlier, unintentionally, was basically a new way of fall damage cancelling. <clears throat> I was on the uh, beginning area, and I wanted to go to this Flux construct. And I basically jumped, reset my fall damage, and that's why I survived. So that was cool. I can probably set enough stuff now to buy the Hylian trousers as well. Wait, does the Lizard Bow not attract lightning? I'll take that. I have no idea. I This is the first say that I'm playing this game. I've been playing Honkai Impact, uh, Honkai Star Rail every single day and dodging spoilers online. Oh, we, have the, we had the Dig Boat. That is true. That was a pretty big one. Pretty big uh, boat. I mean, what? Wait, so we can buy another Hylian Hood if we wanted to. So do I have anything that's worth anything now? What is? How much is the diamond? The diamond is still worth 500, but I want to use it for a weapon. I'm not selling the diamond. I don't care. I don't care. It's my weapon. That's probably a bad decision, but I don't care. I don't like these Bospo Koblen fangs. There might be decent materials. I probably need them later for upgrades or whatever. Right now I'm just selling when I want to sell. Soldier Construct Horn 2. That's 40 rupees. I only I don't need a lot more. I just want 120 for the pants. Oh. I wanna make a diamond spear. I already checked the diamond sword. It's cool, but I want a spear. But I want a better base spear. Yeah, I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I don't really like that at all. How do you get the paraglider? If you just play the main story, you'll get it. Uh, the minus top is really useful, though, for underground. I look so bad, though, then. Okay, I guess we're going back to this. <clears throat> okay, next up, uh, we check out the pose. Yeah, I, I don't know if the glider... I think the glider is basically skippable. I obviously got it. Swordsman, are you okay over there? You look like you were somewhere else just now. Oh, I bet you're interested in that strange stone, huh? We discovered it in the depths. Uh -huh. It looks both naturally formed and as though it's been carved into. We don't know much about it. As you can probably tell, there's still not much to learn. What does this stone remind me of? <laughs> Almost like a little bit of sand, right? 
I guess it's just the shape of the heads, but like also not. So once I'm done with my current investigation, I plan to start digging into it more. You who stand before me. I'm one who returns Pose to the afterlife, where they belong. Of a Pose to me. Wait, there was a character in Twilight Princess, right? But did this? But they look different, that's what they look like. I mean, I guess maybe they resemble him a little bit. <clears throat> Giovanni, that was his name. Offer pose to me, they are spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. Uh, here is a pole for you. One. Oh yes, this is indeed a pole. What pitiful beings these are. They have lost their way home and wandered the depths of this land. I've returned the lost spirit to the afterlife where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I have been unable to return post to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist him once again. You should take this. Dark clump. An unusual substance. It's cold to the touch, and it seems as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Use it in cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. If you offer me post, I will give you suitable compensation. No shot, we can already get the dark tunic? That's like my favorite armor piece. And we can buy bomb flowers here. I've returned the lost spirits to the afterlife. Uh, Pog? If you encounter my brethren, try offering posts to them. Of course. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh, okay. There's more of them. There's different post stores. So uh, if they, if you can get armor, especially the dark pants, like in in a different place, I need to be careful. Oh, I look clean. But the the thing is, just the mine right now. The miner's gear is just very good because um, it glows. I actually really like my outfit right now. Kind of edgy, but you know, that's good stuff. Yeah, I probably can get the full set. I, 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 it seems like there's other uh, people you can go to to, you know, sell the pose. If you go glow bulbs, you get food that will make you glowy. That's what it reads like. Need to die them. Dude, the, the lightning's going crazy. <clears throat> okay, hello. One battery upgrade, please. Alright. Get some sleep. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Let's go. To produce one energy well, I will require 100 crystallized charges. Is that acceptable? Yes. Okay. It's like a hydraulic press video. The post that she tells about his brethren are if you pay him. I see. I've refined your crystallite charges into one energy well. That is it. A small part made from crystallite charges. It increases the maximum energy that can be stored in your energy cell. Pog. So they're literally in single pieces that you upgrade them. So we have this stamina and hearts. I would enjoy further visits from you. Uh, wait, is this not... Uh, is he gonna tell me? Brethren location. Offer 10 posts to me. If you do, I will tell you the location of one of my brethren. Ah. Not right now, though. I uh, don't even have any posts. The preview had four full bars. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Dude. I thought that flag post was a dragon. I was like, oh my god, a dragon is coming out of the underground. Yeah. Where you get the crystallized energy? Um, I bought it. The horses look happy. Cute. Can I jump on? I can. That's cool. 
The NPCs seem... Yeah, it, everything seems so much more alive. Okay, I will still... Uh, my goal today in this, to, to, this is at least to get towards Sorito Village, so we can start doing that tomorrow. But I guess I'm gonna go into the underground one more time with Robbie now. Can I steal the wheels as she's like driving? That would be awful. But maybe. It still doesn't feel like six years of development. <clears throat> it does to me. Um, and also keep in mind, COVID happened. I'm not sure if you've seen Underground yet. I think that's probably a pretty... Uh, pretty big part. So this is the Hyrule Field cousin. Didn't Robbie say he was waiting here? Oh, oh this is supposed to be my introduction to Gloom. No, Traveler, don't do it. If you touch that well... It'll sap your strength and you'll end up like me, too sluggish to move. Yep, I already I already learned that. Oh, I can wait for the final battle. I'll wait like weeks to actually go there. Uh, folks are calling this stuff gloom. If you care about your health, it's best not to g go near it. If you get any on you, you'll start losing your strength, like it's sapping your life away. Mm. I touched some gloom while poking around in the depths, and now look at me. You recover from the... Okay, I want to I wanna listen to that cutscene again. Um, you recover from the worst of it on your own, little by little, so long as you're on the surface. But while you're in the depths, you won't recover at all. I thought I was going to die down there. Some investigation leader um, I turned out to be... This is just pitiful. I'm completely reliant on Darval, so I really want to recover by morning. So this is like an outpost of the investigation team. Wait, did Robbie fall in? I wonder, wonder if Robbie is okay. Um, what's the big idea? You can't just walk up behind someone who's standing on the edge of the a cousin. My colleague who works with me on the Zonai survey team is down there. What would happen if I slipped and fell on him, huh? Aww. Don't startle me again. I'm deep in my investigation work at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't know if the Blood Moon can happen when I'm underground. Should I, should I test it? Sure. We already saw one. <clears throat> Dude! <laughs> This music every time. So scary. How are NPCs supposedly getting out of there? Are we to understand what they can warp to? Yeah, I don't know actually. This is a this is a scary. Wait, so is there gonna be a light route here? We made that predict Oh there is! What was the prediction earlier? The light route would be called G uh no. Niso each. Niso each light root. Yep, seems consistent. <clears throat> Whoa, oh, this is what I already lit up. Okay, I want to wait if the blood moon will happen. Before I activate this. How much longer will I be streaming? Probably like two hours. Ish. Oh no, this is how they're supposed to get up the, out here. I'm assuming. The balloons. The Zona devices. Wait. The Blood Moon didn't happen. It doesn't happen when you're underground. It just didn't happen. Interesting. It's good to know, I guess. You wanted to see the cutscene? If you want to play the game yourself, it's probably best if you don't watch the Blood Moon cutscene. Cutscene. I. Can't, this is. This is just insanity. This area.
My favorite monster on so far? Um, good question. I think the boss book Hoblin one on a sword I've been using. But I have a diamond that I've still yet to use on a spear that I like. They shorten the Blood Moon cutscene after the first one, that could be... Uh, the first one was scary. <clears throat> Which, by the way, this makes so much more sense now. Now that we know that the gloom is called, like, Mayesma in Japanese, essentially. Which is poison, right? And down here, the gloom also looks purple, like poisonous. The light will dispel the darkness and brighten the surrounding area. It's, like, literally about poisoning of your mind. And I actually looked up when I did the theory crafting of this video. The peacock feathers um, in some uh, older Japanese culture actually are known to prevent poison. So I wonder if we'll get like an outfit later that's like based on these with poison or gloom resistance. <clears throat> I mean, if you really like watching the stream, I think you can... I mean, you can play the game in a week, and you'll still find infinite things that I haven't found. Hey you! It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should have brought some bright blooms, bloom, bright bloom seeds with me. As one of the few sources of light, the glowing root growing down from above has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine of the... S oh, okay, so he describes it. This place is roughly under the shrine on the surface. Hmm. Anyway, I'm off to the glowing root. I see shining west of here. So you better hurry up and get moving. So the roots, again, seem to be connected to the shrines. The roots, essentially, are the shrine name, but in reverse. It's almost like... They're growing... Like the shrines are like growing? So interesting. You cannot ascend to the light roots. That's the first thing I tried. Um, unless I did it wrong. Yep, you cannot. Oh. I mean, you can probably, but it shouldn't get you all the way up. Maybe the middle is just too high? Like, maybe you can do it like bit by bit, but not in the middle at least. I have not discovered any dungeons, no. I just did the... Everything I did today was Sky Plateau, Underground explora Exploration, and like Central Hyrule. I went to uh, the Great Plateau. I met some old familiar faces. Underground. In the um, Great Abandoned Central Mine. But I haven't found anything that would be could be described as a dungeon. I am loving it so far. I mean, I've been playing for 12 hours. I probably play for two more, and then I'll sleep, and then I play again. <clears throat> ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ponic from the Zonai survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you've arrived. Ah. But he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds, and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Oh. <clears throat> I was thinking he was taking a short walk over to the glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. Last I saw him, he was heading out there off to the west. Do you have any br bl bright bloom seeds with you? Yes. Ah. I should have probably said no, so he gave me some. You'd be risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know? You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves, and they light up his truck. So they're pretty easy to use too. We use the seeds all the time on the survey team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hands. Right. I've been doing this. Ah. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off to the distance down there. But why? That's a little waste. Oh. If you're going to explore the depths, take plenty of those seeds with you. I've been just throwing them to not waste arrows. I really want to see the Shrine of Resurrection. I did go there and it was quite strange. <clears throat> I will actually go there again today, because I can collect a reward there now. <laughs> the floor is lava, literally. Wow. Hey you, still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. 
Get too close to that stuff and you're asking for trouble. If a guy didn't have any bright blooms, be curtains. I'd be curtains. Then again, it's my first time down here and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. I've just spotted something of interest through my goggles. It's shaped like that figure Joshua wants us to find. I'll be continuing to head west towards one of those glowing roots. I see ahead. See you soon. Okay, but I found the statue already. <clears throat> Sasha showed you an image of a figure, a piece of slate from the depths. She thinks it's evidence of a people that once lived there. Bobby said he'd go to the depths to find her, anything that shows another such figure. He wants you dare to take a picture of it with the Pura Pets camera. And wait, did Robbie say to the, the west? So that light route over there that I already got <clears throat> earlier. I think. Well, um, yeah, the developers talked about dungeons. I don't know how traditional they will feel. Oh my god, is that mini frogs? It is. I'm scared of them now because I saw frogs. Like the real deal. How long does it take for my <clears throat> staff to recharge? Ow. They jump quite far. Huh. Oh my god, they jump so far. There's the depths and there's also the surface caves, yeah. They spawn bright bloom seeds. And zonite. Oh no no no, get the hell away from me with those gloom keys. The thing is I already know where I can take the picture. Because I saw the statue. So I wonder if I could just go there. Oh? Is that another light bloom that I don't have yet? Oh no, I think it's one that I actually have. Yeah, it is. Yeah, see, this is a statue. This is probably where Robbie will be. There he is. <clears throat> what? Look at how bright that thing got. That light down in the dark is downright refreshing. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like, like we're on the surface. Just standing here, it makes me feel so much better. Oh, okay, so... I just realized that thing was following me. Um, I'm, I'm assuming I was supposed to learn how to activate light roots here. I guess I kind of did it out of order unintentionally. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. This statue. It's standing tall on two legs, one arm ra raised high. It looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? Alright, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right. Forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed. Given it's one of the Pura Pet's basic features. Hmm. Give me that Pura Pet for a second, alright. I mean, I know how it works, though. Well... There's a problem. Your camera is locked, and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Here it comes. Here it comes. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this. And then tap that, and... There it is. Capture images using the Pure iPad. You can save them in your... Wait, but didn't I have that already? Is that just the last spot? <clears throat> oh god. Boom. Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium, so go capture a picture um, of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I'll want to see how it looks. Um, what is that purple hands power? I got it from the underground. 
Oh, he's just leaving again. Actually, Aerocuda is what they're called. I'll see later if you can buy pictures, because I like the bought pictures more than going around everywhere taking pictures, but I'll probably take some myself. Oh no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will get the picture. I'm sorry, Robbie. Beautiful. I already looked at the album. I know there were like the pictures that Zelda took at the start, if that's what you mean. If you capture an image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. Do you care knowing about glitches? Ah, uh, not really yet. I will definitely look into it though once I start checking out uh, run stuff. Did you get a good picture? Yes. Stupendous. Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense route, getting us a picture of the statue. You've just started helping us research what's down here. But soon enough, we are going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. I see you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. Well, are you not going to take me back with you? Um, I do not miss elemental arrows. I think the options you have with fusing arrows so far are more exciting. But the only thing that I dislike is um, having to fuse an arrow every time. That does make it feel a bit clunky. Is this where Frox is? I think Frox is here somewhere. I'm not gonna mess with them. Okay, before I go to the surface, let me get two other points from my to-do list. Number one. Return to the Shrine of Resurrection to see what I can get there now. <clears throat> Number two. Get the old map. Actually, I do that, but in reverse order. <clears throat> what major regions have I visited? Literally just Central Hyrule. Unless you consider the Great Plateau a major region. I kind of glanced over it, and it was freaking me out. Because there's the, the strongest enemies I've seen so far on the Great Plateau. Plus, I tried to interact with the Goddess Statue in the Temple of Time. And it said something like... I'm trapped under the water at the stone gate of the Grey Plateau. <clears throat> but I'm not... No, I don't know how I'm supposed to go there. Because I tried to go underground, but I couldn't find anything in that area. So I don't know if you can actually go underwater. Alright, let's start by getting the map. I was close in finding it. Wait, so was it underground? Huh. Huh. Maybe I should check one more time. Can't tell. I I, I go to the Great Plateau first to check uh, because I want to go in the Shrine of Resurrection anyway. Hello. Oh, I have to cut it open first. I miss whistle sprinting, I will admit, but it doesn't really bother me that much. Oh, also we killed that- wait, is it already back? Oh, wait, the blood moon happened, but there was no cutscene, so the flux construct is already back. That was a scary fight, I don't know if I want to do that again right now. A very old map that shows a marked spot. I haven't even looked at those. Wait, oh, that's what those spots are. So, it showed up underground, right? Oh my god. <laughs> so they, they, they're they on the sky, but they're for the underground. Okay, I'm not fighting the Flux Construct again. I just want to go to this part of that island. My goal is going to be to check uh, to finish up my checklist and then head towards Rito Village. That's the first major region. <laughs> oh, it already has the star. It already has a defeated star, even though I didn't ever talk to Kilton or anyone. Even if he's- I don't even know if he's in the game. 
but um, you don't have to... You just see it right away, that's really good. Oh, I miss is that the quality of life change that everybody said was good? Because I heard people in... Uh, basically everywhere say, oh, there's this one quality of life change that's so good. I don't know if it's that, so if it's another one. You can drop both without having to pause now? Yeah, yeah, true. Wait, what is that how you is are you supposed to use this thing to fight the construct? And it's like balloon capabilities. Wait, where will this take me? What is this island? Have I been on that island? I haven't, right? I don't know if I've been on this particular island. And I don't know if I'll make it either with the battery power that I have right now. I mean, I do have a bunch of zone I charges, and I kind of want to know what that is. Mmm, batteries. <clears throat> no need to use it. Oh, because of the balloons? Are the balloons just gonna continue to power? Oh, I can wait for the bar to recharge because the platforms have like no gravity. That's right. Oh, that's the glowing island. It's like a mining island. <clears throat> so it is luminous stone. It's not zonite. I haven't actually gotten a luminous stone yet. I just realized. Another old map. That is like... Dude, the underground is going to be so big. The location shown on the old map has been marked. There it is. Mysterious mineral gives of a pale blue glow in the dark, which some believe to be the souls of the dead. Apparently, the stone can be used as a base to make special clothing. Okay, I'm probably going to keep that then. I hope it's not the Radiant set again. I was not a big fan of the Radiant set. But it might be. A Sapphire. This is the first Sapphire I got. <clears throat> Precious blue ore mined from natural rock. It has the power of ice and a topaz, which has the power of electricity. I kind of want to change the uh, magic rod then to a ice one. Because... Uh, if you guys don't know, the Blizzard Rod, in my opinion, was the strongest weapon in Breath of the Wild. I wonder if that still is the same. What made it so broken is that with this attack, it looks like I would actually throw it though, but be before... Okay, it doesn't quite seem as strong. The Blizzard Rod would have this huge... Oh, okay, no, it still does this. It still does an AoE freeze. Potential to be really strong. This is a great skyland, right? But what is... Oh, that scared me. I was like, what is that? That's the Shrine of Resurrection. Or what is it called? Room of Awakening. There's technically more cousins in the Great Plateau we could go to. Where Cryonis used to be. But I'm going to Shrine of Resurrection first. <laughs> Thank you so much for the gifted subs. Should be legend. 
That's really kind of you. I'm, I haven't been following alerts too much today, and I probably won't be, as this is just like playthrough time, but I really appreciate it. Very generous. Seriously. I don't remember when Breath of the Wild the Blood Moon reset the chest in Shrine's Blessing, and if yes, is that still the case? It didn't, but it used to respawn the, uh, what it did is it used to respawn the uh, the Guardians, so people would go back to the Test of Strengths to farm those again. The plateau must be pretty weird now after how important it was in Breath of the Wild. Well, I'm pretty sure it's if it might be more important in this game from what I gather so far. Okay, so now, wait, is this guy gonna spawn again? He's gonna spawn again. <laughs> Every time. But I was already, I already did this. <laughs> what? This time it's two of them. <laughs> See, this is why this is good. This is why the Sapphire Rod is good. That's also why I rank. Oh, I haven't seen if there is the uh, dual shot bows. A bow favored by the skilled archers of the Yiga clan. It's been engineered to fire two arrows at once to ensure your target comes to a swift and none too pleasant halt. Um, I wasn't sure if there were, but it looks like there's. But yeah, that's why the blizzard was so good. I can probably make some... Let me make some good weapons real quick. I have like three naked weapons. Let's make... What are you gonna make? Let's make a topaz blade. Actually, no, that's probably dangerous. Um, because of the AoE. Let's make a... Wait, how can we sort of... For fuse attack power here. We make a... One of those... One of those... And one of those. I will make the diamond spear soon, but I want a better base spear first. That's pretty cool. Holy. That is really cool looking. Lizal Blade. 17 damage. I love that, holy. That looks sick. Try the duplex bow, there's a bit of change. They shoot like more delayed, you mean? Or maybe before fusing, you mean? Not sure. Okay, so this guy can give me a reward now, right? I have confirmed that there is a schema stone you do not have yet. Allow me to rectify that. These stone slips depict sh schematics of things such as Zonai vehicles. Right, right. Beam cycle? Is this a play on the master cycle? The new design has been regist registered with Autobot. I'm curious about one other thing. Do you know what autobuild will do if you have insufficient parts? I think I know it because of my Twitch chat, Mr. Stewart. But tell me anyway. Autobuild will not be able to manufacture an object if any of its component parts are missing. But Zonite can help you with this. You can supplement missing parts by using Zonite to mimic their form and properties. Keep in mind that they are temporary parts created by the autobuild. You cannot use them for other purposes. They will vanish when you disassemble the creation they were intended for. I assure you, they are useful despite these limitations. Hope you, that you find your own purpose in them. Okay. So, what does that look like? Beam cycle. That would cost me 18 zonite <clears throat> to build. And it's literally... That looks so weird. Yeah, I don't need that in here, obviously, but... I'll try that out at one point. 
Okay, now let me see if I can find the goddess statue for real this time. And then we're actually going to Rita Village. I will get some shrines in the way. Copium. <clears throat> what? It killed it. It's a motorbike, it is cool, yeah. <clears throat> but I don't have some of the parts right now. I don't have the control parts yet. Armor Rump. This tough medicinal plant cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. It's durable yet flexible. Fibers rise um, your defense when cooked into a dish. <clears throat> Um, where do I change my paraglider? <clears throat> What's in the front of his erection? Uh, it's related to a clan that you may or may not know. The evil Chica. I want to talk to the statue again. Is there a cave down here now? No, this is just a random cave with mushrooms. Oh, is the Korok? Well, it's here now instead of the lily pad. I really want to see that bike uh, be made. Can you save scam to save the zone knight? Sure. After I check out the statue, remind me again, I do it. Also, there used to be um, a treasure chest here, right? The, the Hydean pants. I wonder if they put something here again. Oh? That's not the one, but... Yeah. Um... You know when I said earlier that this seems like a late game area? Anyone remember? Anyone remember that? Yeah, I was thinking Hatero. See, there's like black book hoblins everywhere. <laughs> Sorry, I really didn't want to interrupt. You know, I'm on my way again now. I do want to see. This is where the chest used to be. Please don't, like, lift me up or something scary. Okay, it's not here. That makes sense. They said Hateno is like the city of fashion now or something. I just haven't been there yet. Apparently they're called like Aero... Aero... What were they called? I looked it up earlier. Aero something. <clears throat> so what does she say? Is this a message from- is this a message from Zelda? I am trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. Because Zelda was behind the Temple of Time, essentially, before the islands went to the sky. But it's in a goddess statue. Also, I think you can- yeah, you can climb on ladders much quicker now. That's a nice change. There used to be a bow on top here. I think it used to be a soldier's bow. The chest is in a different place now. Dude, this feels like I'm playing Breath of the Wild, though. I'm about to, like, get the paraglider. Arrowcuda, that's right. Nostalgic fabric. This is where you used to get the paraglider. Tough fabric bearing a nostalgic design. It looks like it could be used... To make a paraglider. We can get the OG paraglider back. That's a cool throwback. Actually, is the house from the old man there? It is. <clears throat> I 
I haven't even seen if the Gliok is on the bridge yet, by the way. Would I see it from here? No idea. Wait, who lives here? Does someone live here? Oh. Is this like Yiga related as well? There was like Yiga stuff. Maybe you have to put bananas in there again. Wow, can I actually not make it through? Do I need to build like a raft? Surely there's a way that I can cheese this easily, right? That's weird. Hello? Who's there? Wait, you? You're Link! Thought you'd ambush us, did you? Well, you're the one getting ambushed today. Oh shit! It's a Blade Master this time. Ow! I actually got ambushed. Okay, that guy is too fast. <laughs> ah. I should probably cook some food soon, shouldn't I, huh? So I don't have to eat all of this in single pieces. Take a long blade. Let me go. Yiga Clan Journal. The Yiga Bulletin. Confidential, confidential updates from the hideout. Item 1. I did not expect the Yiga to play such a major role in this game. I thought they would maybe make an appearance, but they're like, they seem to be like pretty relevant. <clears throat> Our research division has developed new vehicles, the Gloom Dredger and Hover Doom MK3. If one of these vehicles... Yeah, I just found the Royal Shield in front of the Temple of Time. Um, if one of these vehicles is damaged, please contact a member of the research division in the depths right away. Item 2 is imperative that all espionage agents in the field learn the Earthwake Technique. Abandon. The Earthwake technique can only be learned at the hideout's training area. Dude, how much? I'm sorry if I'm getting annoying, but my mind keeps getting blown about how much they added. Like, how did they hide all of this? <clears throat> Pita. I'm working as fast as I can, please. Just give me a little more time. Wait, you are not one of them. But not showing anything? I mean, they still showed stuff, and I feel like we overanalyzed the shit out of it. Um, Like, we overanalyzed shots from the Grey Plateau. Nobody's ever called out this house, like, being different. But I guess you could have also just... The render distance where we made stuff harder to see. They have a picture of Zelda on the door. Is that supposed to be her? I guess. You chased the Yiga clan, you mean I can get out of here? Ah. Hooray! Those Yiga guys were forcing me to make weird outfits for them, it was awful. Why me? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe because of my reputation for fleshy fashion. I only let Sese brand threads touch this body. So I guess that's the clothing store, Natino. Hmm. I don't want this mask I made to fall into their hands, but I can bring it with me. Ah. Say, would you want to take this? Yiga mask. Stealth up. A mask supplied to members of the Yiga clan. It covers the entire face, keeping even breath sounds to a minimum. 
perfect for sneaking, but lacks protection due to this light material. I was wondering oh. if this could, like, make us, like, we could, like, pretend to be eager soldier. Um, that thing is decidedly not my style, but if it's yours, more power to you. I'm actually dressed like this so that I can confess my feelings to the woman who stole my heart. Her name is Nobo. She's beautiful with a fashion sense that rivals my own. I think probably at a stable somewhere, I think. She's probably at a stable. Oh. At any rate, we're meant to be. So I know that fate will guide me toward her. Take care now. I hope you find someone to love too. I remember now what my pin was. I found a fairy fountain next to the outskirts stable that wasn't there before. <clears throat> Well, Ganondorf is not really one of the Yiga, but they're like, they, they're like Ganondorf fanboys for Makosa. That's probably why they're more relevant. Because he seems to be back. Back in action. Maybe with the full outfit? Maybe. Okay, I hate it. Can you open the trapdoor? Was there a trapdoor in there? Oh, do you mean this one? The map on the wall. I can't interact with it, but um, I guess this is where they're active. A color tech lab. Hebra snowfield. Great plateau. Gerudo desert. We already found Koga down here. Now we have to go here next. The lightning is so scary. Okay, let me try and find... Um, the statue one more time. I don't know if you can place bananas here and get a Korok. I don't think I have... Do I have enough? I think I might actually at this point. Because this would be a great throwback. They fixed the uh, holding as well. You can only hold another item once the other one is on the ground. Huge. It just made sense. I really hope the Koroks do anything. Is this also gonna- I feel like everyone on the Great Plateau is just gonna be Yiga. Like, I wanna talk to this person, but it seems like I've lost my way. Ah, ah it's a Yiga. If you know, it says Traveler. I heard that the Yiga clan had a branch in this area. If that's true, then it's important I give it a wide... Birth? Do you know the Yiga clan or, or this nefarious branch of theirs? Yeah. Would well, luck to have run across such a kind and knowledgeable soul. Lucky I still, I now have a souvenir to bring home. Just stay right here and... Uh, I shouldn't have... Why? I mean, it was obvious. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. The Topaz, uh, the Sapphire Rod is where it's at. That thing is gonna break uh, combat again. I didn't, I didn't. I found the statue at the Temple of Time, but I didn't know, I don't know how to get it. But I will try again. Ah, another traveler. I just dodged this one. Oh my god. A black boss book hoblin? See, this is not a good area to just hang out at this stage of the game. What is the horn like? It's like a giant X, essentially. I wish I could get that horn, not gonna lie. But, um... I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I'm not fighting that right now, even with the blizzard rod. I feel like I could probably do it. Should I do, should I try it just to see how broken... the the sapphire rod is? <laughs> 
Okay, that's a lot less damage than I thought. Seventeen power. <clears throat> no, <laughs> that was unlucky timing. even good here. Is there a blood moon right now? Bro! I'm busy! When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land... This is so scary. What's going on with Zeta? Why is she like dead? She's not like dead inside. Oh, well, that worked. <clears throat> As you can see, the Sapphire Rod is broken, I could technically do this, but will I do this? Will I waste my time for this? I would probably have a strong gear for, like, the rest of the playthrough. <clears throat> well, not the rest of the playthrough, but, like, for a good amount. <clears throat> Did it save any of the horns I got? I'm assuming no. I have tried the Puff Shroom. Oh, he's about to get... He's about to get shocked. Wait, did he die? He died! He died from a lightning strike! Twenty-seven fuse attack power, a double-edged X-shaped horn with two leader bands, attach it to a weapon to greatly increase attack power, or code it with a credit to make an elixir. What? Boss Bokoblin guts a rare material dropped by a boss Bokoblin. It moves constantly and looks grotesque. Toss into a stew with some critters to create elixirs. Here's a rock hammer, as well. Don't mind if I do. gonna happen again true 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 okay you know what i'm good i get these horns and then i'm out of here <clears throat> when the glow of the blood stain you know what i mean shines upon the land shines upon the land she's like tired or corrupted Oh my god! Fuck off! No, 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 no. I'm, I'm out. I, I got what I came here for. How do you upgrade your battery pack on your um, hip? I used a crystallized... What is it called? Crystallized charges. With 100 you can get an upgrade. How can the Blood Moon happen back to back like that? Because I loaded. <clears throat> My save loaded. It didn't happen on that save. So 
So what if... I definitely want better spears. No, actually... <clears throat> Destroy fuse material. I make a good weapon. Like an actual good one. 41 damage. Black Boss Boko Two-Handed Axe. Holy! Not bad. <clears throat> Imagine with the flurry rush buff. Oh yeah, I don't know how that actually works. Yeah, it's a powerful flurry rush. Oh, that's actually really cool. True. That's gonna be interesting. Spears are way more crazy in this one. Yeah, I want to uh, fuse a diamond to my spear, but this this horn that I just fused actually has more attack power than a diamond. I saw the Korok. So, under the water here, <clears throat> either underground or literally underwater. Or is it down there? I see it, I see it. I can break it. Can I, dr can I, can I drain the water? Where do I go to update the energy cell? Um, one place is here, next to Lookout Landing. This one, the Crystal Refinery. Um, there's also one on the Great Sky Island. Like here. Okay. I can probably drain it. <clears throat> Another Silent Princess. I dedicate this monument to the... Souls lost to the calamity. We saw another one of those at Hyrule Castle. Um, I mean, let's just go. See what happens. We can drain it. We're draining the Great Plateau. Oh, sorry, fish. Hyrule Bus, an ordinary fish that hasn't changed for ages. It can be oops, eaten raw, <clears throat> but cooking it amplifies its healing benefits. Oh, wait. It's another... What? It's not one of those. But why did the goddess statue tell us about those? The sending spirits back... You who hear my voice. Come to me in the Temple of Time Ruins. Up the road, on the plateau to the south. That's what I did. Huh. <clears throat> that is interesting indeed. Why are they related and how are they related to the statue? Because I think the other one, in Lookout Landing, the Bargainer statue, is also technically above... A goddess statue. Those statues, yeah, but what's the relation? Maybe, uh, keep in mind, I'm probably overthinking a bunch of stuff. I've been doing too much theory crafting. It didn't do my head. Uh, what is that? It's a armored leg boko. I think I'm down to avoid that one. <clears throat> yeah, I want a diamond spear, like I said, but I want it to be... Uh, I want to, uh, to have a good, like, baseline, not just, like, a stick with a diamond on it. <laughs> Okay, I, I will say going to this place was like the best decision. We um, got the rune, we got a royal shield, we got like a really strong, we got like a, to uh, a ice rod. The only thing I don't have right now is a strong bow. And then I can like easily head to 
reach a village. <laughs> For how many hours have I said this at this point? I do not know. How is <laughs> Rito Village? I love it there, yeah. That's still gonna be the first major region I'm going to. <clears throat> you have my words. Actually, Farron looks kinda good. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You who hear my voice, as a result of you draining the water from the gate, a part of me has been freed. You've earned my gratitude. I speak to you from the depths below, in the guise of the statue. A call from the depths. That's another side adventure. I direct to you... The four chasms across this plateau. Each has one of my eyes nearby. Drop them into the chasms. Then deliver the stones to me. Who dwells in the depths below this temple. Do all of this and a reward will be yours. Um, I'm going to reach the village soon, but you know... <clears throat> That does sound kind of enticing. Yeah, it's literally the shrine locations. So I have to throw stuff down and then bring it to the statue underground? Is that the tower I was trying to be on? Interesting. <clears throat> Gleog view? I haven't seen it. I wasn't able to see it yet. I feel like I should be seeing it from here now. Oh, there it is. Holy shit. That is scary. Did I see a shrine back there as well? It looks like the green glow is there. Okay, but how do I find the eyes? I think she said the eyes are on top, right? And I have to throw them down first. Is, is that an eye? In the gloom there? No, it's a stone. Great Plateau East Cousin. I should probably again have a s stick with like a rock attached to it somewhere. So I can break these doors easier without wasting bomb flowers. So where are those eyes? She talked about. <clears throat> she did say they're nearby. Nearby the cousins. It wouldn't be a boulder, right? I mean, that's not an eye. How's the game so far? Pretty amazing. Pretty big fan. I'm pretty addicted to this. No. Yeah, I can check under the breakable boulder. Okay. That's kind of an eye, I guess. So what should I do first? Should I do one at a time? I think I should do one at a time.
I'm not that tired right now, no. This music gets me every time. Yeah. It's really scary, but really good. Um, have I been here? I have been here. No, please. Oh, no. Okay. I, don't, I probably will hate this quest, but it sounds quite enticing. It sounds like quite the big deal. Don't leave them too far behind. Yeah, that's why I thought it's probably best to do one at a time. Now, I have to go to the great abandoned mine, right? Yeah. Because that is under the temple. What quest is this? I got this on the Great Plateau from um, I got this from the Great Plateau from uh, the Goddess Statue, but there was a little bit more to it. I don't really want to give it away. <clears throat> oh, I will get rest. I will probably do this quest and then it's only like 11 here, guys. I, yes, I streamed starting at 10. But it's not that late. I get sleep at like midnight and then I continue tomorrow. Ha! I just realized I didn't bring it. No, chill, chill, chill. I didn't bring the eye. Rito Village? I will be headed towards Rito Village. Um, when I end for today. Like, the task tomorrow will be to get there. <laughs> I don't even say copium. I, um, um, is this fine? This is fine, right? It was actually fine. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> yeah, the, the pathway to Rita is just long. You have to understand. Wait, is that the statue then? Is that her? Whoa! What the hell? This is like some big stuff. Yeah, I did not find this. Whoa! What? And now what? Am I supposed to, like, throw them in? Oh! I forget that this is a thing I have. <clears throat> you returned one of my eyes to, to me thus far. After you have found my eyes on the plateau above each of the near cousin, Bring every last one to me here. I wonder if I could have done this without ever talking to the statue. I wonder if that step was necessary. I feel like maybe because I was at the other chasm and I didn't see an eye like this. There's so maybe the eyes didn't spawn until you start the quest. Dude, the thing is the underground is already big, right? Like it's already massive. And then it's also multi-layered. I know that Ratatouska is going to be popping off when entering this area. This is like one of his most wanted things. You can start this quest at multiple points? Interesting. These are like essentially elevators. Is this gonna go over here? Where am I? I'm in the depths. The 
the depths beneath the kingdom. <clears throat> Are you able to give me a tip without telling me how you did it? Uh, what specifically? Going down here? Or like... Finding the thing? Um, explore around the plateau, basically. And I mean literally around. I guess I could always just ascend, right? Couldn't I literally ascend, ascend, ascend there? I think so. Wait, a minecart is not a Zonai device. <clears throat> I wanted to see if I can drive back up. Now, how do I best get back to the surface? I don't really have a teleport point on the Great Plateau. I guess I go up here and then go to Cryonis and Magnesis from there. You can also build a cart. Oh, because I built one earlier and it was saved. That's right. Yeah, no, you're right. I haven't really understood that rune yet. <clears throat> Are there not any Zona shrines in the plateau? Maybe? I haven't explored the plateau completely yet. Let me actually see. I should. I, I think you can use the scope when you fall here, right? So that should maybe help me explore from the skies. I see one immediately. There's one. But I don't even know if that's better, because then I have to go all the way over to Cryonis. Does it like freeze time, kind of? How did you drain the water? I'm lost. Again, I explored around the plateau. Oh, not one of those like likes. Those things are scary. Rio Gog Shrine. Gino Dog Shrine. Sauce. <clears throat> well, yeah, I played like 13 hours today, but you know, this is the day I've waited for literally four years. Four. Enjoy your game. How many shrines have we done, even? This is gonna be number 10, right? Not bad. I've literally not- I've, I've been exploring Central Hyrule and the Great Plateau for 13 hours today, and the beginning area. Force Transfer. Rio Gok Shrine. The, I, I know I keep spamming this, but something is so satisfying about the new shrine music. It's like those sounds, they just hit. Yeah, that worked perfectly. Uh, that'll do. Wait. There's no way that's it. What is this? Some notes in the shrine music remind me of the Among Us meme music. <laughs> oh no. I don't even know what I'm trying to do right now. Why do I not just... 
Yeah, why do I not just get on the... I'm trying to figure out where I'm trying to go right now, to be honest. Because why don't I just go up there with the scent? Okay, this gives me a second. This is all just for this thing? But I can just grab it, right? Oh, I can't? It looks like I could. When in doubt, ascend. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm. what's confusing me. Oh, because I gotta get up there. I see. <clears throat> That's like not really what I tried to do. I just blocked it. I broke it. <laughs> I broke it. GG. Mm, that fix it. It uh, did not. Wait, am I, am I actually? Oh, wait. I have an idea. Yeah, I could have recalled too, but I might be able to grab it from here. Oh, wait. Okay, no, no it's still broke. <laughs> it is definitely still broken. Let's just see what happens. It just, it just nothing happens. I think I've waited too long. Oh! Okay. Saved. <clears throat> I'm sure you can complete the shrine in lots of different ways. Probably more than you can count. I've done some of the shrines in Breath of the Wild in like 40, 50 different ways. Yeah, I detached the gear. Oh, I detached the gear instead of the stick? I see. You know what, I did want to try out one thing anyway here, that would be interesting. I don't think... Oh, wrong button. I don't think it'll work. But I wanted to test if this still works in general. No. Um, it detached everything connected to the gear. I see. I wonder if stuff like this is possible. stuff like this <clears throat> right um maybe the smallest place is to reload instead of getting stuck in here forever because i basically broke the shrine and actually do it the right way i know i'm not stuck i'm not, i know i'm not stuck so good. Just faster probably at this point. And even if it isn't, <clears throat> let's just not make the same mistake. Takes like 10 seconds to reload.
Oh, I see. I see the idea now. Hey. <laughs> Dude. Really? Uh, I guess I gotta do it kind of properly. By the way, I'm not like an AI. You don't have to be like, Rewind. Use lever. Open glider. Use weapon. This is not Twitch shed plays Tears of the Kingdom. <clears throat> Go left, go right. Beat the game. That's right. Wait, that technically works though, right? Maybe it doesn't hit it hard enough. <clears throat> okay, the question is, can I go to the chest from here? Not that I need it. Maybe I should jump from the platform, probably, actually. How long do you think it will take you to beat the game? Ah, like one or two weeks. Probably more like two weeks. No, that's less height. Wait, okay. <clears throat> Can you climb on those sticks? I don't think you can. What am I ever looking here? In terms of another way I, how I could get to the chest. Maybe I'm just not hitting the slab hard enough. Because earlier it was like sending me much higher. Let's try to put it like here. <laughs> nope, that does not work. How did I hit it so much harder earlier? I guess because I had it attached to the gear and not the platform. So I need to do it, but like not, uh, if I wanted to solve it this way, uh, but like not block it again. Okay, let's see if it's gonna block it. It doesn't get blocked this way, but this way it doesn't hit the slab. Uh, I could have grabbed the whole gear then. This would have been much better. <clears throat> really? Wait, can you climb the poles? That's something I wasn't sure if it's possible. Oh my god. <laughs> Super rude anyway, not telling him anything he does not know. Bad mods. Eh? What are you talking about? What are you cooking? <clears throat> Uh, 
What is he cooking? Um, you can. That's so lame. Really? <laughs> Your monster is stupid, to be honest. I don't think so. What? I feel like, yeah, the plateau is a pretty powerful place to go. Huh. Mighty construct bow. Why? Wait, I wanted to drop it. There's a strong bow. Plateau is the place to go. A powerful bow for a captain construct. Those are the fireproof. It's more complex than earlier models. The bowstring is extremely tense and requires great strength to draw. Wait, why can I not drop the other bow? Did I not have space to drop the weapon or something? Yep. Oh, okay, weird. But how sick is this bow? Clean. Oh, see, and now what I could do is technically just place. No, 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 I could probably even just do this. Or not. I thought I could just lift it like that. I, I, I kind of did. <sighs> that is pretty funny. This will actually still work. Yeah, this is definitely a shrine. We actually solved it two ways now, though. <laughs> a shrine of all time. Shrine of all time indeed. Yeah, it seems like the pushing doesn't really work well. Maybe they did that to prevent you from dealing damage with things you would... Um, <clears throat> ultra hands. No, I mean, I liked all of the shrines. I'm still mostly shocked by the appearance of a blessing. The blessing shrines are the coolest looking shrines in the game now, so far. Me and my chain fairy lights. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. <clears throat> and I feel like there are more solutions too, probably. <clears throat> Heart sediment. Takes time to burrow through tougher sediment. Might need... Oh, I missed it. Damn. <clears throat> you can see into the sky so well from here. Alright, read the village, right? Copium. No, 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 we need to do that eye quest. Oh, wizard robes are back! I, I don't know why I thought they wouldn't be, but that's an enemy I've, like, never seen in any material. Yeah, I want to try out wards against them. Um... 
Dude, what is this? <laughs> The power of um, water. <clears throat> Topaz rod. Okay. Should I take one of those? Sure. How long are you planning to continue the stream? Like another hour. <clears throat> I want to see how much progress I can get done with that eye quest. Um, underground here, under the plateau, because it seems pretty big. See, this is what I meant. There's a ferry there. Like a ferry fountain. What way do you use to get a bunch of zonite for cut crystallized charges? I got a different way of getting two 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 um <laughs> two two um shrine. I found a different way personally to get a bunch of a batch, uh, like crystallized charges by exploring underground. But underground is gonna be a good spot anyway for you. Um, if you want to. Just a car, basically. Um, if you want to... Look into Zonite. <clears throat> I believe your brother the Wild Horses will be there. Is that actually true? People told me that this is true. This would be amazing. That would mean my five-speed horse, Zeri, would be here. Somebody's told this, me this before, but it sounded like a like a fake rumor, like a playground rumor. <clears throat> Have you found any glitches? The stakes guide you. Oh god. This is like the DLC shrine. Oh no, this seems... This seems tough. We have to put in stakes to like, manipulate... I feel like this shrine would also be so cheesable, by the way. By going over there somehow, and then using... Um, and then using Ultra Hand on the orb. Dude, do, do the stakes do anything interesting if you attach them to the weapon? They just give more power, if that's what you mean. Uh, I haven't used them with an arrow. Maybe you can like attach them to or, like stick them on enemies or something. I should probably bring this over. How does the story connect with Breath of the Wild, though? Is it like a continuation? Um, kind of, but also not really. Like, they don't expect you to really know things. Like, you can easily play this game without having played... Um... Breath of the Wilds. That's kind of what they went for, anyway. Yeah, couldn't I just use the wind to fly over there and then grab the orb? Or am I wrong in thinking this? This has to be possible. I feel like this is probably harder at this point. Or maybe it's too fast. Um, do Zona devices have Hyrule Compendium entries? I don't know, actually. 
I haven't really checked out the compendium too much. I still have to report this picture. I have so much to do. Equipment. Maybe it's in the equipment tab. I can try taking a picture later. <clears throat> Any minute now. Definitely uh, got it soon. Like, that was the idea, but... Wait, can I not attach it in this wall? Wait, do I have to attach it into the other... ...stakes? Why can I not remove this? Because it's already attached? Yeah, yeah, but I wasn't able to do it. I don't think you can do it into, into the wall. I think you have to do it in an already attached one. Maybe I'm wrong. Can I really not take this from here? I'm missing something again, am I? Am I not? Why doesn't this attach anymore? Like, what is? what am I doing wrong? Move forward and back. Oh, cancel. That's what I'm doing wrong. <clears throat> My bad. You don't actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It also, also sticks, essentially. Got you. How do I turn it around now? See, this is what I wasn't good at. I uh, thought I heard it there, but it was not there. <laughs> Yeah, I also have, like, a bunch of ideas to cheese it, but at this point I kind of want to just try it. Um, so what is that platform up there for? It's just for this stake, right? I just have to pull that out more. Okay, and then this one I just have to, like, lock in place. than this. <clears throat> I, I never want tips, basically. Unless I really ask, I give up, I cannot beat the game, but I don't think that will happen. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I didn't even see that rail. Okay, I think that's it then.
There might be a point at one point where I'm like, I don't get it, guys. Please tell me the solution. But so far, I eventually arrived there. Right. <clears throat> Interesting that normal object motion can not move the pegs within the walls, so only abilities can, yeah. So cool. What was the goddess riddle again? Uh, I already figured out the riddle. They're like trapped underwater, but I need to do more for them. It's like a pretty big adventure. It seems. It's like a full on like side adventure is what it's called, not just a side quest. And from what I can tell so far, those are quite big. You're trying to find the eye. Oh, um, depends on where you are. The first one is kind of hidden. What armor am I wearing? This is minus armor that I found in the depths. They look like out of a dream, yeah. Especially the blessings. I'm not sure if you found the blessing yet. Not sure if you found a blessing yet. It does look the craziest, I think. Okay, so not going to the stable. I think what I will do is I will head over to up here again because this is easier. Like I reached the Cryonis uh, Chasm easier from up there. <clears throat> I want to try and finish the I uh, puzzle. And um, then go to Lookout Landing and tomorrow. Actually, I might pick up my horse. That'll help. Over here. I have some stamina elixirs. I haven't really seen much in the deserts. I wonder how different it is there. And I really want to go to the camp, dude. <laughs> I can't believe it. We played for like 12 hours and I've seen this part of the map. By the way. How was the game? I barely got up the sky plus to starting area. Yeah, it's quite good. I would say. Wait, we need double cold resistance here. Or what? No, never mind. It just didn't recognize that I had the. Um... Oh god. The eye here might be in an ice block. Okay. Those do so much damage. That's new. Bless. 
Black Moblin Horn. A hefty horn with multiple tough barbs. Attach it to a weapon to greatly increase its attack power. Or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. That is uh, a pine cone. Oh! Didn't see that guy. I really need to go out for some uh, food collection soon. But the fuse ability is my favorite ability so far. I, I love all of the abilities. They all feel great. So what are these arrows supposed to mean? Does that mean the eye is like in here? I haven't collected this. An ice fruit. A fruit that generates cold when struck. Cooked correctly, it gives up an effect that strengthens muscles and increases attack power in cold temperatures. <clears throat> What does this mean? Does this mean we can drain this water here too? I wonder. We were able to drain other water. Hmm. Can't see anything immediately. All of the abilities are fun, but I would say Fuse is my favorite. Alright. Yeah, yeah, read to dungeon tomorrow. Like, I know we've been saying Copium all the time, but that will be... Eventually, we will go to a major area, and I will go to Rito first. But it's just that there's so much interesting stuff on the plateau and in Central Hyrule that... It might still take some time to get there, but this will be guaranteed the first major region I'm doing. <clears throat> Copium aside. Oh, no, 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 I'm not using this bow, I'm trolling. Okay, so it would be nice. Wait, can I, like, attach ice to my weapon like that? Like an ice shard? Whoa, can I, like, surf on ice like that? That would be cool. No eye here. It's gotta be in one of them, right? Is it this? It is. Here we go. This is so cool. <clears throat> This music will get me every time. It's so sick. I feel like bl Bright Bloom will be everyone's most used item. Okay, so now we take this elevator up. I guess we'll do another minecart ride. Uh, what's that here? It's an eye um, that we have to bring back to a secret location underneath the Great Plateau. I have to spawn there. Oh my god, this is like. Are we gonna get like a theme park ride of this? How sick would that be? In like the Nintendo area? Of oh, what is this? Wait, wait, wait. We gotta go back real quick.
Minus trousers. The bioluminescent lamps on these trousers sh uh, shed light on where you step. They come in handy when walking in darkness. We have the double lights. Set. <laughs> Wait, what are those baggy pants? I guess they are kind of reminiscent of Raru's depictions. That's the real drip. <laughs> yeah, interesting. It is, an, it is a look. <laughs> Especially with the shirts. <laughs> uh, where do you get the outfit from? I literally just got it. In the place I'm at. Um, I should have probably gotten those posts, but it's fine. What are those posts? They're called posts. You can use them. That's how I got the dark tunic, for example, already. One of uh, I, I I took a bunch of posts and gave it to um, this person. No. How do I stop this in time? Like, stop now? It's kind of annoying. You, I, go, I, I guess sometimes I forget that I have recall. This is a big journey. I guess we have to go all the way to the Temple of Time. Another minecart ride. Uh, I should have made more glue. I'm not prepared. I need to, like, before I play tomorrow, you need to remind me that I need to do, like, a preparation phase. I need to make some bloom, um, yeah, gloom protection food. <clears throat> and some food in general. The gloom protection sucks, unfortunately. Well, not protection, I mean, like, healing. I mean, um, whatever you can eat to get rid of the broken hearts. Would you ever play Breath of the Wild again? Probably not for a while, but maybe one day. I wouldn't be surprised. I love, the, I love that game. But right now, I'm in, in love with this one, unsurprisingly. Uh, dude, I already know I can't wait to talk to Binks about this game Because imagine a hundo runner. I guess Jason as well Like <laughs> Jesus Christ When the reality hits you That you need speed strengths for bringing back these eyes and stuff like that. I mean, also super interesting, obviously. But at the same time, really intimidating. Okay, two out of four. You've returned two of my eyes to me thus far. After you've found my eyes on the plateau above, each of them near Chasm, bring every last one here to me. Right, that's just the same text. I, li I love this place, by the way. <clears throat> I do wonder how these, how this Poe creature it's related to the goddess statue, or why it speaks through goddess statues. A voice told- I haven't even read this yet. <clears throat> a, vo a voice told you to throw four eyes into four chasms, and then carry them to the place beneath the Temple of Time Ruins, where the voice is coming from. 
You have now thrown two of the eyes into the chasms and brought two of them to the source of the voice. Right. Okay, that's the Koga stuff. <clears throat> I need to do the camera work quest. Next up. I got this, by the way. Um, it's probably just best to go up here again. Yeah, that that's the thing, because, no, the trapped, I think the trapped part was just that the... That we had to save that person. <clears throat> from out of the, uh, what is it called? We had to save the, I don't know, but I need to actually learn their names, because they have a name on the map. How far into the game are we? I would say like 3% to... F to Three to five percent. I have like eleven shrines and explored a little bit of one area. I would say like three percent. But that's only if you consider all of the Koroks. Like with all of the content, I would say yeah, probably like three to five. How many hours in? Uh, Thirteen hours in. But I will probably. I've been pretty th uh, thorough. Um, I've been reading all of the text out loud and stuff. So I'm assuming that my playthrough will take around 150 hours, probably. I'm expecting 12 to 15 hour streams every day for the next two weeks, essentially. So are we gonna see the, the Thunder Gleok spawn in here? Because that's what I saw in the preview. Yeah, there it is, I saw it. I saw it for like a couple of frames. That's literally what happened in the preview. This will be a $70 game. Redfall, which is out right now, is a $70 game, which is an absolute scam. You will play this game... If you're willing to pay $1 for one hour of entertainment, then it's inarguably worth. How was the first experience going? I'm shocked, Sophie. I cannot put it into words. Um, I dodged pretty much every single spoiler. Until today, I'm learning so many new things about the story. The only thing I saw was I watched one re one review and I saw where the game starts and everything else I discovered live. When I found the depths, when I found what I'm doing right now, the quest on the Great Plateau, the Giga Clan. I like look. I played for 13 hours. This is what I saw. It's wild. The full playthrough will be posted on YouTube. Yeah, I'm when I'm done streaming today. Oh, by the way, Swiffy, um, I mean, I don't know if you played the game already, but I already showed this sort of the speedrunners, which I'm sure a lot of them found that out as well. But the most broken thing uh, that I've found so far is um, this weird fall damage cancel, <laughs> literally right at the beginning, where basically landed on a falling object to like refresh fall damage and <clears throat> where is it this is unironically a kind of a broken shield because what you can do maybe i'll actually yeah fuse it to this is you can shield jump into bullet time how broken is that? <clears throat> because it gives you like extra jump height. Pretty cool. Can you? No, you can't glide with it, unfortunately. So where is this eye? Is it maybe in the swamp? I remember in the trailer they fished out a, uh, a thing here, right? A wheel. But that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, 
Oh, that's easier than I thought. <clears throat> yeah, you need to go back to the goddess statue. Um, after you uh, get the rid of the water to actually get the real quest. Yeah, this was probably my favorite moment yet when I jumped in here earlier. Incredible. I will speed run the game soon, yeah, when I'm done playing it casually. Okay. So how do I go from here? Do they actually want me to make a car this time? I know, you know why not? I haven't really made one. Okay, wait to see how long the first speedrun will be. Um, yeah. I'm, after actually seeing how many and how many interesting there are, I'm probably already sold on doing all shrines again. But we'll see. Depends on how long the really long runs will be. Now, I attached him, like, on the wheel. Yeah, I was gonna say, will this be a problem? Yes. <clears throat> most normal car. This is gonna be the most normal car you've ever seen. Yeah, I'm really excited to see if um, there's gonna be like really efficient builds, like the dick boats we made earlier. That seemed kind of good. Where you basically just take one tree and two fans to make like pretty good boats. Like the dick boat was pretty powerful, like actually. No joke. Yeah, I know there's any percent speedrun, please don't take me the final time because I don't know if anything is optional in this game yet. <laughs> nice. What? Wait, where am I going? I just gotta go to the abandoned mine, right? That's easy enough. I should have maybe attached some batteries, I would say. This car? Yeah, that's amazing, right? Thanks. Would you buy this car from your local car dealership? Oh, that's hyped up here. You know, Piston also sent me cheez -Its because I got sub-5 oil shrines, so I should have some cheez -Its soon when I play. For the full gaming experience. Surely if I drive over a bomb floor, it won't explode, right? That was actually scary. I 
it's still, by the way, I played 14 hours and it still hasn't completely sunk in that we are playing this game. It will probably take another 50 to 100 hours to realize that that's what we're playing. Like, look at this. We're driving a car in this ginormous underground cave. Like, we didn't know shit about this game. It's wild. I should probably use uh, the hand as fast. Well. <clears throat> I mean, we knew about the car, but like, how it really works, we didn't. Might as well stock up on some of those. Can I buy one of those yet? Could buy some. Getting closer to a <clears throat> hundred again. How are you still streaming? I am enjoying myself. That's probably the secret. Oh. I don't like. I don't want to stop. I should stop soon because I need to sleep, and I want to continue tomorrow. Look at this weapon, by the way. Holy. Um. But I'm just having too much fun. I am actually so st I'm so stacked just because of that sapphire rod. I do want to get that last eye down here and then I'm probably going to stop for the day. Going to go back to the lookout landing. Uh, finish the quest there and head towards um northwest. Do you prefer fusing onto one-handed weapons or two-handed weapons? Well, right now two-handed weapons because they are still broken. Um, I do like using optimal like builds, and you can still get the two hits per rotation with the sw uh, like spin attack. But I like the f I want to find good spears. I want to find good spears and fuse really powerful materials onto them. I have a diamond that I'm saving for that. Right, three eyes. Gotta find the last one. Is working fast when you're holding an object with the ultra and instead of carrying? I think so. I just did it there to not lose it, but I think it, it is, yeah. Um, What's the best? Maybe the best way would be to shoot ourselves up in the tower. <clears throat> Few spears are OP from what I've seen. Yeah, like they attack super fast and you can crank their attack power really high. But I haven't found a good base damage spear yet to fuse something to. That is the worst pin I've ever placed. Wait, where did they just place that pin? Oh wait, I'm looking in a completely different direction from my thought. I want to activate more towers for the first time because the music that plays is just so good. Okay, this actually sent me less high than I thought it would. I really like this song too. I think the skydiving music basically. I still gotta go to this tower. I did not go to Zora's Domain. I didn't go to any major village yet. 
The control that you have when uh, skydiving is actually not as good as I thought. Like, you can't really get too far forwards. It's a little underwhelming. <clears throat> How easy is it to traverse into the sky? There's multiple options to do so. And you can also always teleport up to the Great Sky Island, which is very high up. Um, to be able to find other locations. Oh, you're, I actually think I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> I do know about the wingsuit, obviously, from the trailer. So uh, that's probably what you can use to actually gain distance. What was that? Somebody threw a rock at me. How do I like the game so far? So far, 10 out of 10. Hope you're enjoying it too. We do- I- I do not know what happened to the Divine Beasts. Maybe some people know. I've done very- fairly little story today. Um, and I've mostly been exploring. That'll probably change a bit tomorrow. Okay. The throw button still is the throw button. Oh, there's another one of those camps. Wait, is that the same camp we cleared earlier? They just like move out eventually? This is interesting. <clears throat> because this is like the place that everyone remembers from Breath of the Wild, right? Like cutting down a tree to make a bridge. There's a Korok puzzle down there now. I guess I'll mark it. Okay, sure. That, that is a massive AOE, what? Performance has been much better, much better. Ever since the Great Sky Island, it was tanking quite hard. But, um... It's definitely been much better. That hurts. I didn't press the attack button in time. Yeah, they, they, the arrows shoot with like delay. Wait, it, does that mean what I think it does? No, I thought for some reason you would actually need two stamina then per shot. The cooked food situation is still dire because I haven't worried about it yet. I'm about to finish the quest here that I've been working on. Uh, the, um, the underground eye quest. I'm at the last eye. Climbing? Yeah, I was trying to ascend, but I didn't find a good angle. How do you get the minor tunic? Underground. In a very... I would high... So far, the best things I've gotten in this game were all in the in the deep underground. Highly recommend exploring there. It's a bit scary, but it's high... It's super rewarding. I've used Audible, like, twice. Um, I should. Like, I realized that, in, like, in moments like this, I could probably build, like, a balloon. Um, if I had the Zonai parts. And save this. Save uh, this, uh, you know, hassle. Okay. Looking for the final eye. Huck, huck. Huck. 
can I recall this and it's like underneath or something? Ouch. You don't need the parts as long as you have enough zonite. Yeah, but I kind of don't want to quote unquote waste my zonite. Um, because... Ouch. Because I am trying to get more battery upgrades. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it, that sound is so satisfying. Wait. Have I not activated? No, that's the one I, I've already activated it. Something about that. Short hair Zelda or long hair Zelda? I oh, I've like look at my emotes on the channel. I've always I've always made myself clear. Just open the stream. I'm having so much fun. Curious if all the speed tech you used is gone now. From what I can tell, yes. But I found something else that was interesting earlier. Kind of like a weird movement. Um, I feel like abusing momentum jumps in this game could be quite interesting. Like, I was kind of stuck below this ledge, right? And then I jumped up and used the weapon swing. So I kind of like jumped away. And then kept the momentum by like swinging. So I wonder if we can find ways to abuse the momentum uh, keeping in that game. In this game. <clears throat> okay, so if I have all of the parts here. And I want to build this. It's just going to take them, right? Wait, that is insane. I didn't even realize that that's how it works. And then I need one extra... And then you can just walk around. Is this the area I wanted to... Where, where am I going, by the way? Is this where I'm going? Yeah. <clears throat> I have not seen Reed, it's only in the trailer. Are those like containers? Don't forget the batteries this time. Is there batteries here? Yeah, might as well. Wait, those are lights. Oh, there's batteries there. That is a big contraption. But we want to get that eye back home safe. Why do I never attach this thing? It's for some reason, like harder to attach. There we go. Oh shit. How is this game real? How are we doing this on the Switch? Flying through a ginormous underground cavern. I don't get it. Sorry. This is the first but I went to for the eyes and didn't even see it under the rubble. I still don't understand the quest, so I threw a keys eyeball down the hole and hoped something would happen. <laughs> That's funny. Wait, I went the wrong direction. Um Yeah, I got really lucky. I went I want to go to Rito Village the entire time. 
And then I went down to, up to this tower because this was the area from the preview. And then I fought the construct, um, the flux construct here, and then jumped on the plateau and just stumbled upon this area. And I've basically obviously been stuck ever since I found it here because there's so much to do. The Rito Village Copium joke will always remain, I guess. Nah, no, I'm bringing this back there safe. We, 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 we've done it. This has been quite a bit of work. I'm expecting a pretty good reward for this. <clears throat> Ten rupees? I'm ready. Um... Any minute now. Any minute now. Boom. <laughs> You've returned to me, my eyes, the vessels of my spirit. We can now speak properly. In ancient times, my eyes were stolen and sealed away. For eons, I've awaited one who would hear my voice and return them to me. And here you are. As promised, I will repay, repay your kindness by bestowing good fortune upon you. That's it? No shot. I, I'm getting one heart for this? Sure. Sure. The strength that you have chosen will be yours. Mm, thanks. I guess some gloom got like purged. <laughs> A rare item that restores some of the life force you lost to the gloom, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Your wish is granted. Can we talk more? You who revived my spirits for vessels, make an offering. Offer post to me. Spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. They are pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wandered this land. I'm one of, I'm one who returns <clears throat> all posts to the afterlife without p prejudice. Good. We've met one of these people, basically. Good, evil. That's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There's no such distinction in wandering spirits. I take it you have encountered my brethren. I have. Stay a moment. More? My brethren and I have combined our power to create the Tunic of the Depths. If you desire it, you must make a suitable offering. That's sick! Okay, I'm farming. I'm farming more pose. I'm farming I'm farming more pose before tomorrow. Sorry, that's the last thing I gotta do. Uh, okay, listen, getting these couple pose is gonna take a couple minutes, and then we walk from here to lookout landing. Oh yeah, I, I don't know why I sneak keep sneaking up on them. I think it's like a firefly habit. Um, <clears throat> there's some here. I think some of them respawn. It's crazy how much how how rewarding though they are making the underground. I guess because it's scary. I love the scary music in here so much. Just open the game, please enjoy. There was a model butt down there.
Oh, lots of posts. And a cave. A cave and a cave. And even more posts. Alright, let's use the uh, mighty construct bow. Oh wait, wait, wait. We got we use the strat, we use the strat. I failed the strat, I failed the strat, I failed the strat. We're going to attempt the strat again. After getting the pose. This is the strat I wanted to talk wanted to use. Where are the bomb flowers? <clears throat> Should probably not use like my best weapon here. Thoughts on Gloom, scary. Um, like, you play the game quite a bit differently. Because normally you wouldn't mind getting hit, right? But here you can even get hit by a rock and get like permanent consequences which might s like slow you down and annoy you in your, in your like... What is it called? Exploration. Twenty-five to go. Is it permanent damage? Well, it's permanent until you heal it. Like, I'm sure once I actually um, go out of my way to make some, like, gloom restoration... Gloom restoration, like, food... Maybe I don't mind as much anymore. But for now it's scary, at least for these initial explorations. I have some portable cooking pots, yeah, which means I could make them now, but I feel like I want to save them for when I really, really need them. Um, because they're only one time use, right? Hylia Canyon. Hylia Canyon mine. Under Mount Hylia. Is this? Like a reflection? No. Like, obviously, we have this very strong theme that, like, the shrines are essentially, like, the light root names, but just in reverse. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was, like, a reflection of the surface. Like, wait! There's essentially a Colosseum here. Is this gonna be some ancient shrine of resurrection? And this is Mount Hylia, and this is Hylia Canyon. Suspicious indeed. Rusty Halbert, yeah, I can re-pick that up. Okay, I need like nine more poles. There goes Rita Village again. Wait, what? We're still doing the... Okay, that joke is getting old. <clears throat> Um, also unlock when teleported to surface. Wait, what unlocks when teleported to surface? Wait, that's so interesting. Though. So, there's basically an underground coliseum. That also sounds really scary. Oh, the gloom tarts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. 
they um, they might only halt your underground exploration. Actually, speaking of this, let's warp here because we probably find post there easier. The glider shield increases your uh, shield jump height, so you can bullet time um, out of a shield jump. It's actually quite useful. Like, look. I've not done one of the Gleog fights, nope. It's pretty sick, yeah. Oh, there's a, one of the big posts. Is this where the big frog is? No. That guy is scary as hell. Wait, is it? <laughs> I don't want to encounter the Grove of Spirits. Central Hyrule Depths. No, no, we saw that earlier. The, the frog guy is somewhere here. All right, all right, all right. Just to... We got a last location. Is that the last one I found? I got to appease the retail village enjoyers. We're going to get the dark tunic and warp to the lookout. Or like tunic of the depths. Tunic starts another side quest? Surely not. Um, you who revived my spirit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A tunic acquired by offering pose to a strange statue found in the depths. Woven of monstrous materials, it offers some resistance to gloom. Alright, let's see it. Okay, we beat the game. Okay, game is beaten. Already had the best outfit. That's clean. At least I like it a lot. What's going on there? It's like... It's like a scorpion almost. I, I don't have my I don't have like really good pants yet. The hiding trousers are all right. Okay. Um we have this location to explore, this location to explore underground. Lots of lots of lots of lots of things to do with the depths. We haven't found a single location from the old maps. We'll start with the main quest tomorrow. I wish I could um Whenever I find a stable, I pick up a horse. What, ex what exactly does gloom resistance mean? I'm assuming you can be in the gloom longer without actually losing hearts because there's like some like actual gloom lakes almost. Oh, for the elixir it gives you buffer hearts to lose before it affects your actual one. Not sure the armor works. Hmm, yeah, I mean, maybe it's the same thing where just like it takes longer before you actually lose them. Have I fought with any of the NPCs yet? No. I don't know what that means. Um, like in the training camp here, is that something you can do? The music is uh, such a vibe. Wow, dude. I mean, I feel like, yeah, we only explored in Hyrule Field. But this is kind of uh, the wrap up for today. Look at our equipment. We have the Tunic of the Depths. We have a 41 damage boss book Koblen Claymore. We have a mighty construct bow. We're looking kind of clean right now. All right, let's show you the picture. <clears throat> show Joshua that picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well and it looks darn cool too. That's a good one, actually. The lighting. This is it. This dust match what's on the fragment. Yeah. 
Thank you, swordsman. Just like the just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory. The people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big discovery. Now what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as a thanks for helping this stage of my investigation. Our earlier survey of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Five Zonite. That's the most stingy reward of all time. Oh, did you see all of the items in the bag just disappeared? Am I about to get all of them? I feel if, uh, as if these contain some kind of strange power. They may be, like, maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you find them useful. <laughs> that fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Dude, this has even like little like tendrils on the bag. Goggles, swordsman. <laughs> Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. Nice. There's lots more to do uh, in the depths, but this is actually a good point to wrap it up. I uh, might... Maybe I bring my horse here for tomorrow's uh, playthrough starts. Nah, because we're probably gonna be walking for the most part. There's gonna be too much to go to like explore. <clears throat> what time tomorrow? Whenever I wake up, it's probably gonna be like 10, probably like 8 to 9 hours from now. Um The I will I will get the, the, the YouTube video ready for uploading, but I won't upload it right away. I will probably upload it like start uploading it tomorrow morning. Um, directly from Twitch. I will just like um, make sure that the VOD is uh, split into two pieces. Actually, yeah, let's head towards Rito Village and find like the first shrine. I know I'm addicted to this game, yes. But I want to at least like signal to people that we were trying to reach Rito Village. I'll dream about the game, probably. Oh, there's a Horroblin. These guys are scary as hell. Let's one-shot them. <laughs> the way they, uh, like, move is really scary. That was a nice shot. Oh, this was like an actual encampment. Do a two-minute equipment flex to your inventory? Yeah, before I actually go offline. I want to find like a shrine on my way to Rita Village, so... Oh, spiky spear. Ah, uh, that actually still kind of sucks, though. Yeah, I kind of don't want this, but I don't want it to go back in the chest, so I guess my fan, Gusta, is going to stay here. I Like, I feel like, yeah, weapon durability is the least problem of all time. Oh, nice. Frog. But how broken is this shield? Like, people told me bullet time isn't broken. Now we have a shield that allows you to just do this. Okay. I'll take it. I won't complain. <clears throat> I still don't know what the bubble gems are for. Maybe that's related to Korok Forest? The Royal Shield I found on the Great Plateau. The Great Plateau is quite scary, though. Be warned. A lot of, like, late game-ish enemies are there. I kind of abused the power of the sapphire rod to take really strong weapons like the uh, this axe here. Okay, never mind. Oh. 
Dude, sorry for that reaction, but I just thought about it. I just heard like a theme that kind of reminded me like that motif reminded me of like the Temple of Time from uh, Twilight Princess. And that made me realize that we haven't even seen anything. I haven't even been in like a dungeon. I haven't even been in a village and I've already had so much fun. We go to this shrine. That's like towards Rito Village. Worst part so far? I don't even know. I've liked literally everything. Oh, the one shrine. The, actually, yeah, the worst part so far was... Maya Chin. That uh, broke my brain a little bit. Oh, that's stable. That's how we're gonna get a horse tomorrow on the way to Rito. Oh, there's the sign, bro. I completely forgot about the sign, bro. Yeah, the the better one. I I, I just the the stakes just didn't click with me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that'll be a popular one, like a popular one that people don't get at first. Maybe not as bad as the golf shrine, but it could be up there. Perfectly balanced. <clears throat> I'm putting President Hudson here too. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Just let go. What? Are you going to support him? Alright. I'll let go. Yeah, he's fine. The president is still standing. I'm not gonna read this text every time, it seems like it's always the same. Yeah, people backseating, I, I feel like I get pretty good at ignoring it mostly though. But it'll always be a thing. Oh, the, the scariest part by far yet was the... Um, the tree. What's that X from? That X is a black... Bokoblin, boss Bokoblin. Uh, horn from the Great Plateau, fused to a broken royal claymore. It's actually really cool. I like the aesthetic a lot. Uh, the way I killed it, I got really lucky. I froze it during a thunderstorm, and the lightning literally one-shot it when it was frozen. <laughs> All right, some more free food. Oh, chat! Remind oh. me tomorrow if you're gonna be watching. That I should be doing some cooking. Maybe at the stable. When I'm at the stable to get the horse. I did see the Colosseum. It seems like there's two Colosseums this time. One on the ground, one on the surface, and one on the depths. Very interesting to, uh, interested to explore both. Yeah, like actually, I need to cook. Yeah, you can see the storm. The depths, yes. Or the underground. Isho dog. Okay, somebody said little uh, inventory recap. Yeah, I think they call it the depths in the game, yeah. A little inventory recap. recap. We got the Hylian hood, we purchased it. We purchased the Hylian trousers. We got those, obviously, from the beginning area of the game. We got the Miner's set, the Miner's top and the Miner's trousers. We got the Tuning of the Depths, which is my favorite piece so far. The Yiga mask from the Old Man's Hut. The Dark Tunic, a classic, from one of the Poe collectors. <clears throat> Strongest bow we have is the Mighty Construct Bow. We have a Royal Shield, which is great. Um, we have a... F we have really good weapons. We have um, a Black Moblin Hammer, a Topaz Rod, a Sapphire Rod, a <laughs> Black Boss Boko Two-Handed X Improved Flurry Rush. 
There's Alpha's Blade and some, like, whatever weapons. This is obviously my favorite. A bunch of materials that I have to cook. Um, I want to fuse our diamond tool spear when I get a good one. We need to make some meals, have a bunch of Zona devices. Not really sure what the time bombs are good for. We'll probably need them in the shrine or something. We got we got the secret ability from the depths. Um, 25 Korok seeds, 7 bubble gems, 1 battery upgrade, parasail, 2 parasail cloth. By the way, if you want a free parasail cloth, there's one in the Temple of Time where you used to get the Paraglide Ember of the Wild, if you want the OG Paraglider skin. We got a sleepover ticket, 3 maps, 2 schema stones, 1 sage's will, which I still don't know what they really are. I found one in the sky, in the sky in a puzzle, but I don't really know what they do yet. Um, and then, yeah, 6 hearts. That's about 14 and a half hours, mostly 14 hours of playing the game, because I um, also ate food. I will be getting some rest now, I'm going to bed. And then when I wake up tomorrow, I'll shower and I'll be back. We'll continue. I hope you all enjoy the game. Um, this is incredible. I uh, don't know how well I'll be able to sleep. But thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.